so. Problems of those today. Testing, testing. See over here. Test, test. One, two, one, yeah, two. Yours is kind of the top bar. Mine's kind of the bottom bar, if you can tell that.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The T.L. Hanna High School for tonight's basketball game is between the T.L. Hanna uh, Yellow Jackets and the Woodmont Wildcats. Our first game is the girls game, which, if I understand right, last game was a highly competitive game, and I expect the same for this one tonight. Yeah, Dan. Uh, good evening, everybody. This is Fred Tolley along with Dan Sheridan. Uh, we'll be calling the boys uh, game after this and the girls game coming up in the next few minutes. Uh, Dan, as you mentioned, highly competitive game last time when I believe Woodmont was ranked number one in the state. Uh, one. Hannah went in there and came from behind and came back and knocked them off in a, in a thrilling fashion. All right, now it's time for the national anthem. That was an excellent rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, and now it's game time. Time for the starting lineups. Yeah, Dan, and uh, Faith Bonner with, um, as you said, just an absolutely beautiful rendition of the uh, national anthem. So now time for the starting lineups. And, Dan, if you'll give those to us. Starting at guard for Woodmont is, is Anaya Muhammad. She's the region's leading scorer. Number 15, Shemaya Earl. At the other guard, number 15, Shemaya Earl. At center, Ella Jr. Number 23, Trinity Nesbitt. At center is Trinity Nesbitt. She averages a double-double. Another junior, number 25, Cunie Chambers. Another guard wing player, Kanique Chambers. And the other starter is Gabrielle Stewart. Freshman, number two, Asia 
Number two, Asia Clink Scales will be starting at guard. She's Hannah's leading scorer. Other guard, Michaela Blungo. Next up, we have another senior. He knows she is number 22, Grace Ikenabu. At center, Grace Ikenabu. I coach Next both of her brothers. Harmony Earl is the fourth starter for Hannah. And the fifth starter is Kalia Hartwell. She's 6'4 and she's an eighth grader. Well, Dan, as we get ready for um, this region matchup, I think it's important for people to know both games tonight um, have playoff implications. Uh, the boys, obviously, after this, the winner of that game will in all likelihood win the region. The game tonight um, between the girls will be uh, for second place in the region. Right. Which has huge implications on terms of home court advantage. All right, here we go. And the tip is controlled by Woodmont. Rebound comes off to Hartwell. Hartwell's at Asia Clink scale. She brings it up for Hannah across the 10 second line. Woodmont appears to be in a man to man. Drive to the left, down low, Hartwell layup, no good. Tipped around, rebound is brought down by Marconi in the backcourt. A steal from behind. Quick scales will take them all the way. Lay in good. <laughs> Hannah draws first blood. Two to nothing, T.L. Hannah. Ben, uh, Hannah's bringing a lot of defensive pressure right now coming into this um, full court trap that uh, so far has given Woodmont some trouble, and there's another turnover. Another turnover. Hannah's got it. Down low, knocked away. Off the way by Stewart, it'll be Hannah's ball underneath. Hannah leads two to nothing. 6.55 to go in the first quarter. Inbounds pass. Inbounds Ikenabu. Ikenabu. Drives, gets the ball stripped from her. Hit ahead for Woodmont. Jump shot, mid range, no good. Tipped out. Rebound comes to Hannah. Clink Scales brings it up for Hannah. Again, Woodmont back in the man-to-man. -man. High ball screen set by Akinabu. Down to the corner. Longo has it for Hannah to the top of the key. They switch out on her. Should be a mismatch somewhere. There's a layup. Good. Beautiful backdoor cut there, Dan, and a nice pass by Hannah to get that bucket on easy layup on the inside. And again, Hannah comes with the pressure. A little 2 2 1 full court press. Woodmont breaks it this time. Take it down to the lane, inside, and there is a foul called on number three. I believe that's Micaiah Blango. Yeah. It's Blango. Uh, First team foul on Hannah. First shot is good. Trinity Nesbitt at the free throw line. Second shot. No good. Rebound Hartwell. She's stuck. There she goes. Blongo's got it, brings it up. Left side. Middle of court. Clink scales. Clink scales penetrates. There's a jump shot from the corner, no good. Rebound, and there's jump ball. Yeah, Hannah again doing a good job on the boards.
Inbounds pass goes to Clint Scales. Inside to Ikenabu, but threw it away. And it's staring right back again. The Blongo underneath layup, no good. Rebound Blongo, she puts it up. And scores. Six and one, Hannah. Woodmont gets it up court quickly. Down court layup by Nesbitt's good. And the basket will count. Yeah, Dan, that's the, um, you know, that's one of the fables of running that full court press. Is sometimes you do get beat back, but overall, Hannah's done a good job of it, and uh, it's led to some easy buckets from, uh, by the Jackets. Nesbitt's free throw is good. 6 4. Inbounds pass goes to, to Blongo. She brings it up across the 10 second line. To the right, to the wing, Clink Scales. Clink Scales drives, puts it on the floor, inside, and there is a foul called on number, number 30. Yeah, I believe that's Gabrielle Stewart. That's Stewart. Uh, we have our first substitution of the game for Woodmont. Woodmont appears to be in a 2-3 zone on the out of bounds. Inbounds pass is knocked away, picked up in the corner. Longo has it. Top of the key, penetrates into the lane, lay up, got it. Nice drive and move right there. 8-4 Hannah, back in the 2-2-1 press. Right sideline, got her trap, she gets out of it. Shot no good, rebound this, but up. I can see how she averages a double-double. Yes, absolutely, Dan. She, um, she's relentless on the boards and taking it to the basket. Very unofficial, but I think I've got her for already three rebounds, and they're all offensive rebounds. She's at the free throw line, shooting two. First one is good. Yeah, it looks like Hartwell's going to have to come out of the game right now. Um, I believe that she's picked up her second foul uh, quickly into the first period. And Tamara Wynn comes to the ball game. Second shot by Nesbitt. No good. Rebound. Kicked around. Out of bounds off Hannah. The Woodmont ball underneath. Now Hannah appears to be in a 2-3 zone on the out of bounds. Inbounds pass goes out here to Muhammad. She's going to fire from long range. No good. Rebound Hannah. I can a boo. To Blongo. Pushes ahead quickly. Back out to Blongo. Win up, no good. She gets her own rebound, right back up again, and good. Nice inside work there. 10-5, Hannah. Hannah backs out of the pressure for the first time all game. Muhammad brings it up, region's leading score. Inside threw it away. Picked up by Clink Scales, quickly across the 10 second line, left side of the court, comes into the lane, throws up a shot, and she is fouled. Yeah, Hannah's being aggressive, uh, Dan. They haven't taken a lot of uh, shots outside of 15 feet. And now Lot's just been driving to the basket. It's been paying off for them with some easy buckets and now some shots at the free throw line. There's a Clink Scales, two shots. First one, good. Second one in the air, got it. 12-5, Hannah. Muhammad brings it up. Hannah's in, appears to be a 1-2-2 zone. Ball is stolen away. Here comes Hannah on the break. Grace Ikenna Brew across the 10-second line. The clink scales. Drives the lane, layup, got it. Fantastic ball movement there by the Jackets. And we have a timeout, Woodmont. With 3.28 to go in the first quarter, it's T.L. Hanna 14, Woodmont 5.
My time is back in here at T.L. Hanna. And Muhammad brings it up for Woodmont. Hanna stays in the 1 2 2 zone. Chambers down low. Turnaround jumper off the backboard, no good. Rebound, Nesbitt, no good. Rebound, Hanna. I can't move. Then Hanna switched to that zone um, about two possessions ago and has been really effective. I'm not sure that Woodmont knows how to handle it. Pass down court to win. Layup good. 16 5, Hanna. Zone's been very effective so far. And they're staying in at this possession. Chambers. I would too. Shot from the corner, no good. Rebound, Hannah. Clink scales one on one, two on one fast break. Clink scales takes it all the way, throws it up, no good. Off of Woodmont out of bounds. I was gonna call it for him, but. Woodmont with another substitution. Ayanna Pullman in for Woodmont. Anna looking, inbounds pass, layup, good. No, ball is good. Put back by win. 18-5, Hannah. 2.37 to go in the first quarter. Coach Elrod's got the Jackets content on sitting there and trying to make Woodmont shoot their way out of this zone, and so far they haven't been able to. Foul underneath, I believe it's on Ikenabu. As you know, Dan, that's you either shoot your way out of that zone or you do what Woodmont did in there and you just attack it from yeah, the inside. Get it inside. Free throw line is Pullman for Woodmont. Shooting two. I think if I went for free throws, I'm not sure Woodmont would score. First one is good. Substitution now for the Jackets. Taylor Wessels in the game for T.L. Hanna. I think she was a starter at one time. Yeah, it's nice to be able to have um, ladies that were one-time starters and know the game and know how to play that can come off the bench and give you that depth. Second free throw is good. Hanna brings it up, clink scales, right side of the court. Calling for a pick. Clink scales for three, back iron no good. Rebound, Woodmont. Muhammad with the rebound. Brings it up quickly. Look ahead, Pullman laying, got it. That's one way to beat the zone. Get it down court. 18-9, Hannah. Click scales. Screen from Mike Kennebu. Back door pass thrown away. Muhammad hit it ahead and it's knocked away and it's Hannah's ball. Yeah, that's, that's good transition defense there. That's what they lacked the last possession, but um, I think Coach Elrod got in the head, so they got to get back. And Wessel will bring it up for Hannah. Right at the 10-second line center circle. Dribble handoff to Clink Scales to Blongo. Blongo, 15-footer left side, no good. Rebound Muhammad. They've got numbers. Wood bump brings it up, Muhammad into the lane. Knocked away, Nesbitt puts it up, and it is good. Woodmont's on a 6-0 run right now, I think. 18-11, Hannah. Blongo. Stuck. Inside, win. Great move. Yeah, that's where Hannah's been most effective, is inside on the block. They need to just keep going back to that well. Doesn't, Woodmont doesn't have an answer for it. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Woodmont with the ball. Kick outside, Chambers inside Nesbitt, out to Muhammad. From long range, she got it. Big shot there, I believe I'd let her take a more of those. 2014 Hannah, 40 seconds to go, first quarter. Wessel brings it up, taking her time. Drives to the left, to Blongo, Blongo. Dribble a handoff pass out there to Clink Scales. Clink Scales makes a move, drives down the lane, all the way, lay in, no good. Rebound by Kennebu, and a jump ball is called. And I believe the possession arrow belongs to Woodmont. It is. They went to a 1 4 there and just kind of drove it down the lane and had a good look at it. Maybe should have waited for a few more seconds to come off the clock. Myla Handy is in the ball game for, for Hannah. Back in the 1 2 2 zone. 13 seconds to go in the first quarter. Woodmont ball. 2014 Hannah. 
Inside to Nesbitt. Nesbitt turns. Muhammad for three. No good. Rebound. Akinabu leading the break. She's about to put it up. She does. No good. And that ends the first quarter of play with T.L. Hanna leading Woodmont 20 to 14. All right, start of the second quarter, it's Hannah's ball. Clink Scales brings it up. By Stewart, Wessel for three, left wing, no good, rebound by Kennebu. Back out to Clink Scales. Clink Scales probing, looking to win. Win drives baseline right, stops, good move, up and under move and got it. Yeah, that's where Hannah's made all their money uh, this game is inside the paint. They need to just keep attacking there. Muhammad brings it up for Woodmont. Hannah appears to have gone back to man to man. Muhammad. Muhammad on the right wing down low. Coach Elrod doing a good job of mixing up defenses there to kind of confuse them. Clink scales, top of the key. Turns away to pick and roll. Goes left, gets a pick and roll from Wynn. Wynn to Wessel. Wessel, stuck, up top to Clink scales. Clink scales dribbling left. Stop. Five second counts on. Clink scales drives the lane, layup. No good, and they got a charging foul. Called on Clink scales. Come on, come on. Get it? Go. We're broadcasting the game right here. Muhammad brings it up for Woodmont. Top of the key. Three pointer. She got Good. it. Good. That's her second long three. 22 17. Sure paying attention to that. Woodmont's picking up a little bit in the backcourt now. Clink Scales brings it up for Hannah. Drives right, keeps going, drives all the way. Off the backboard, no good, and we got traveling called. That's a tough call on Clink Scales there. I thought she was, I thought the foul created that caused the walk. Yeah, I don't want to be too much of a homer, but I didn't see that. Here comes Muhammad. Across the 10 second line, you got to get a hand up on her. Hand down, man down. Up top. Drives it, takes it all the way down the lane. We got a foul called on, I think, Win. Hey, fellas. Two shots. First one's good. Nesbitt has a second shot, 22-18, free throw, she got it. Woodmont now is in a full court press, full court man to man. Timeout Hannah. 
Yeah, Dan, I think that uh, that's the first time Woodmont showed the press, and it kind of confused the Jackets as they were trying to inbound. It's a quick timeout from Coach Elrod. We've got a 30-second timeout, so we'll just hang here with you. Yeah, it was a man-to-man -man press where they didn't have anybody on the ball, and they were kind of double-teaming who they thought would get the inbounds pass, and it worked. It made Coach Elride have to use a timeout. Like I've always said, they they give you so many a half, use them. Use them. Can't take them home with you, and you can't cash them back in. Yeah, it's better than a turnover underneath your own basket. And Woodmont's done a really good job of closing what was at one time 10-plus point lead and getting this down to a three-point lead with still almost six minutes to go here in the second quarter. She's, Woodmont's a good team. I mean, they were one-time rated number one in the state, and they're probably still in the top seven or eight. And they got some pretty confident ball players. Inbounds pass. Inbounds pass. Goes to Blongo. She brings it up left hand along the left sideline. Top of the key. Five second count on again. To win. Win drives it. Spins. Up and under. This time it's deflected out of bounds. Yeah, but I like that. They're going back in the paint. Again, that's where um, Hannah has shown the proclivity to, to get some points and keep the pressure on Woodmont. Longo shot out of bounds. Woodmont ball. Hmm. I don't know if that hit the side of the backboard and looked deflected out of bounds, but it's a tough angle for us. Yes, sometimes. I know. <laughs> Anna Muhammad, inside Nesbitt, kicks it out to Chambers, no good, rebound Hannah. Longa being double teamed in the backcourt, is in trouble, gets out of it. To Earl, to Ikenabu, to win, no good, tipped around, pulled down by Ikenabu, she puts it back up again and she's fouled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If the Jackets will keep the ball in the paint, that's where they're having a lot of success. And, um, Good for them, that's where they keep going. Fouls on number 23, Nesbitt, too. That could be big. Grace Ikenabu at the free throw line for Hannah. First shot, no good. Got a couple of subs coming in for Woodmont. And Nesbitt has been taken out the game. Ikenabu has one more. Free throw, no good, rebound, Woodmont. And stolen by Kennebu. Kennebu takes it in, and she's fouled again. Great hustle there. Foul was on Shamaya Earl of Woodmont. Yeah, that's just a case of a Kennebu just wanting the ball more and just making sure to make a play. Gotta make these free throws. First one, no good. They are free throws. Come on, Grace. Second one, no good. Rebound. Win, and she dribbles it off the foot out of bounds. Woodmont ball. Yeah, great hustle there by the Jackets to get that offensive rebound off the free throw, but unfortunate, just had to dribble off her foot. Kalia Hartwell's back in the ball game for Hannah, and she replaces Ikenabu. Woodmont brings it up. They have a chance to cut it to one or tie it with a three. Hannah back in the 1 2 2 zone, down in the corner, out to Muhammad. Wing. Inside. Jumper. Got it. 22 21. Hannah. Need a bucket bad. Woodmont's really extending their man-to-man -man defense. Long go. Win. Good fake. Drive. No good. Rebound Muhammad. Down the corner. Back out to Muhammad. Wreck the traffic. Drives it. To the wing. Thurman, back out to Muhammad. To Chambers. Chambers stops. Back out to Muhammad. Now to 
corner, inside, and it's knocked away and stolen. Stolen by Wynn, she loses it, but gets it back. Out to Blongo. Blongo drives down the lane, layup, no good. Rebound put back up again, no good. But a foul on Woodmont. Great drive and great offensive rebound, but we gotta make sure to make free throws. We've already left four on the board. Leah Hartwell at the free throw line. Two shots. First one's good. Six four eighth grader. You can't yeah, coach that. You <laughs> cannot, and I'll tell you, Dan, I mean, there's a bright future for the Yellow Jacket women's basketball team because uh, they're a young, young team and a talent stacked up in the eighth and ninth grade. Second free throw, no good. Rebound. Hannah puts it back up, no good. Here comes Woodmont, three on two, fast break. Muhammad down the lane, laying good, and there's a foul. You can see why she's their superstar. Mm. Basket counts, foul on Blongo. Chance hide. Yeah, chance for uh, Woodmont to take the lead here. Old fashioned three point play. Wessel coming back in for Hannah for Blongo. Thomas free throw, no good. Rebound Hannah, Hartwell. We have a foul. Call that one on the floor. Hannah's ball underneath. Looking, looking. Inbounds deep, back to Wessel. Bounce pass inside, good move, laying good. What, what great awesome. hands there, that was, that was a tough pass to handle and she was able to corral it and lay it in. Had a good seal on the post person. Inside, Muhammad's three, got it. And got a close on her, she can shoot. And Woodmont, I think, takes their first lead of the game at 26-25. Harmony Earl for three, no good. Rebound, Woodmont. Muhammad brings it up quickly for, for Woodmont. Now stopped in the backcourt. Inside of the high post, turnaround jumper. No good, rebound, Woodmont. Back up again, blocked by Hartwell. Out of bounds, stays with Woodmont. Good defense there, reset. Now I'm sure Coach Elrod's telling them that they have to close on Muhammad because she's proven that's her third three-pointer. We got a timeout. Hannah, I believe. Timeout Hannah with 2.39 to go in the second quarter. Woodmont has taken a 26-25 lead. All right, here we go, back in play. Woodmont's ball out of bounds underneath. Thurman inbounds pass. High post, drives down the lane, blocked away, out of bounds. Oh, kind of a late whistle. We have a foul on Hannah. Fouls on Harmony Earl. Mm -hmm. 
Diana Thurman at the free throw line. First one, no good. That was the eighth team foul on Hannah. Second free throw is good. Woodmont extends their lead to 27-25. Just the kind of game we thought it would be. Yep. Very nip and tuck. Clink Scales has been quiet lately. Over to Wessel. Back out to Clink Scales. Woodmont's in his own. Harmony Earl throws it away. Picked up. Here comes Muhammad for Woodmont. Left side. Drives it. Dribbles back out to the three-point line. Got to get a hand up on her. Cross-court pass. Chambers, shot from the wing, got it, three-pointer. And Woodmont now has ex extended their lead to 30 to 25. Now the Jackets need to keep doing what they do, which is take their time, pound that ball in the paint, easy layup or a foul. Right there. Earl, throw it away, one on one. Stop, fires, no good. Rebound put back up by Woodmont and good. 32-25 Woodmont. Back in the 2-3 zone. Woodmont, Wessel, inside to Ikenabu. Powers it up, no good, knocked out of bounds, and it's Hannah's ball. Yep, and we talked about it, but that's where Hannah needs to go. Couple of substitutions coming in for Hannah. Handy and Wynn have come back in the lineup for Hartwell and Earl. Wessel will trigger the inbounds pass. The clink scales, a long three-pointer, in and out, no good. That did everything but go down. Yes. <laughs> Naya Muhammad drives the lane, kicks it out from the corner. No good rebound, Hannah. Wessel brings it up. Knocked out of bounds by Woodmont. They didn't stop the clock. Now they did. 52.7 seconds to go in the second quarter. 32-25 Woodmont. Wessel. Handy. Inside by Kinnaboo. No good. Rebound put back up again. No good by Wynn. Wynn gets it again. Kicks it out to Wessel for three. Got it. Big shot there by Wessel as the clock is under 40 seconds. 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Muhammad for Woodmont. High post, drive, and there is a jump oh, ball. Great ball. defense there. Ball will stay with Woodmont. Thurman on the inbounds pass. Out to Muhammad. Long three-pointer, no good. Rebound Ikenabu. 18 seconds to go. Ikenabu's going to take it all the way. She stopped. Out to Clink Scales to Wessel. 10 seconds. Wessel in the lane. Shot no good. Rebound Ikenabu. She got it. Three seconds to go. And that's the end. Ooh. That's the end of the second quarter. And the score, Woodmont, Lady Wildcats, 32. T.L. Hannah, Lady Yellow Jackets, 30. Yeah, Dan, um, Hannah closed out with five points there. Big three, and then an offensive rebound and a putback. And um, just again, what we thought it was going to be, fantastic game by two really, really good teams. And uh, Woodmont takes a two-point lead as we go into this second half and see where it goes. Yep. Low turnovers. Not a whole lot of fouls. There's been a few. Been a lot of missed free throws, but. Excited about the game tonight. Obviously the girls game, um, which is really big for region play uh, that will turn into um, you know, home court advantage as the playoffs start. But also the game we got following this at 7.30 tonight, the boys game, and it's in, in all all reality, it is for the region championship. It's, it's win it and take it with you. That's right. And Fred, the way it's set up, winner, gets at least two home games in the playoffs. And you know, with always a possibility of three. Now you gotta win, I understand that. But that next game should be good. Last time out Woodmont was a double overtime victory for Woodmont after Hannah had led by 20 in the second half. Yeah, so. they, they led by as many as 20 and uh, 
Woodmont did a great job of chipping away and getting it back to, um, you know, a close game and hit some shots down the end to send it to overtime. And then a big bucket with about three seconds left. It was a long, deep three for them to win by one. Uh, just a fantastic ball game. And I expect it's going to be the same. Absolutely. The uh, I do know this. There's been a, an effort by the T.L. Hanna uh, administration um, to get a big turnout tonight. You can already tell from the girls' game there's an energy in this gym. Everybody's excited about this ladies' matchup. But also I think it's just going to build leading up to that 730 boys' game. And this game, go back to the girls' game, it's for second and third. Correct. And you don't want to be the third-place team in the playoffs because that means you've got to go on the road. Absolutely. Um, I think both coaches uh, in this game that we've been uh, watching and calling here with the Lady Wildcats and the, uh, the Lady Jackets, uh, the coaches have done a, a really good job of mixing up their defenses. Um, it's caused some confusion and led to some easy baskets. But can't say enough about Muhammad for Woodmont. She's single-handedly mm. kept them in this game and got them the lead. And, she, and she's done it with Nesbitt on the bench for a good, good portion of the second quarter. And that Nesbitt is a double-double machine. So Absolutely. And, you know, what the Jackets need to continue to do, and we've harped on her a little bit, is, I mean, we did hit the 1-3 that was really big there in the closing minute. But overall, uh, the Jackets have made their money um, inside the paint. And not only on the first shot, but they've done a really good job of offensive rebounding and the putbacks there. They'll continue to do that. And not only will they get the baskets, but my guess is they will keep Woodmont in foul trouble as the game goes on. And I think, too, Fred, you might want to, you might see in the third quarter Hannah going back to the 2-2-1 press every now and then. Yeah, it does cause some confusion. It just gets them out of rhythm. Doesn't yep. let them get down there and set up. And sometimes it takes the ball out of, out of Muhammad's hands, which is a good thing. Absolutely. <laughs> right now we were just being entertained by Hannah's, I don't know what it was. They're dancing cheer dance squad. Team, yeah. Again, you can just feel an energy in the building. And, uh, you know, this gymnasium has seen a lot of great games over the years. And uh, I think they're in for another one finish here in the girls' game and then set up for the boys' game at 7.30. Well, we'll be back in about five minutes for the start of the second half. And the halftime score is Woodmont 32, T.L. Hanna 30.
getting ready for the start of the third quarter here at T.L. Hanna. 32-30 Woodmont. Yeah, Dan, I believe it's going to be Hanna's possession coming out of halftime. And, uh, looking for more of what we had in the first half. Just a really tough game between two, two competitive teams. Look like Woodmont's uh, got their starting five back in the ball game. It looks like they're going to be in a 2-3 zone. Which is to counteract what we talked about. Hannah's made their, uh, you know, all their moves on the inside, and I think Woodmont's seen that and trying to counteract that. And Glenn's keeping Wessel in the game for Hannah. Inbounds pass goes to Blongo, and here we go. Started the third quarter. Blongo to Wessel. Wessel for three. Short. Rebound put back up again by Hartwell. No good. And the rebound's brought, pulled down by Nesbitt for Woodmont to Muhammad. Thank you. Muhammad in the forecourt inside to Nesbitt. She lost it out of bounds, but it will remain with Woodmont. Ball went off of Clink Scales' foot. Thurman will inbounds it for Woodmont. Looking, can't find anybody. Finally gets it to Nesbitt, back to Thurman. Stolen away by Blongo. One on one, Blongo takes it all the way. The lay in good. Great defense there by Blongo, and what a finish. And we're tied at 32. Muhammad for Woodmont in the corner. Chambers no good, rebound, and we got a foul. Ooh. Not real sure about that one. Foul on Hannah? It appeared to me that Woodmont girl was over the back, but then again, my eyesight's not what it used to be. Out in the backcourt to Nesbitt, almost stolen by Blongo. Nesbitt, free throw line. No good. Rebound, Hannah. Rebound to win. Win to Clink Scales. In the corner to Wessel. In to win. Win, spin move, back. No good, gets her own rebound. Dribbles it out to Blongo. Inside to Hartwell, and Hartwell has it taken away from her. Woodmont on the run. Muhammad, middle of the court. No look pass to the wing, three pointer, got it. Three point shot by Chambers. Hannah back the other way, Wessel. Looking, dribbling, dribbles it back out in the corner to Blongo. To win, no good. Rebound, kicked around, picked up by Muhammad. What an athletic play. She brings it across, down low, another three. Got another one. Woodmont has, they've made, what I think that's their fifth or sixth three. Yep. And back to back threes by Chambers. They have really shut down clink scales. Blongo, Blongo drives it right. Looking, skip pass, clink scales, long three Deep pointer. Three. No good, remember Blongo blocked by Muhammad. She does it all. Brings it up quickly. Stop. Gonna pull it. She pulls it for three and got it. That's back to back to back threes by Woodmont. And a tie ball game now has turned into a nine point lead for Woodmont. The power of the three pointer, like you said, that's three in a row that they've made. And, and what was a tie game 30 seconds ago? Yes. I think Coach Elrod may be, I'm hoping he's thinking about going punching the ball back inside again and trying to get Grace Hikinabu maybe involved a little bit in the offense. Yeah, from what I've seen, I mean, the Jackets don't need to try to trade three-pointers with yeah. them. They need to, you gotta be careful extending that defense, but you know they've got some shooters and you just gotta be out there because they're, you know, a lot of those shots, Dan, are, they're well beyond the arc, you know, a good three to five feet. Yeah, they're, they're not shooting. They don't have their toe right on the line. Muhammad took one earlier in the game that was about halfway to the volleyball line. This 2-3 zone right now by Woodmont's giving Hannah a little bit of problems. Yeah, and a really, really good move on their part uh, to stop Hannah's 
interior uh, post players. Well, what you got to do, you got to get the ball ahead of the zone. You got to drive the gaps. You got to make the defense have to work. And you don't want to be a ball stopper. Win to Wessel. Wessel right wing. Blongo fakes inside the win. Win free throw line extended layup. No good. And we have a whistle. Offensive foul. And we have a charging foul on win. Yeah, you're right. What Hannah's got to, to beat the zone, you have to get the ball below the free throw line. And um, Hannah just hadn't done a good job of that, but to Woodmont's credit, they hadn't allowed him to. And they're also tempting us to shoot the three. And we're not having a whole lot of success tonight. So it's Woodmont's ball. Here comes Muhammad. They're in kind of a horn set. Cross court past the Chambers. To Thurman. Running the point, left handed three pointer from top of the key. No good. Rebound Woodmont. Muhammad. No good on a three. Rebound Woodmont. Inside, layup, good. Offensive rebound by the Wildcats, really doing some damage. Longo to Clink Scales from way downtown. She got it. Maybe that'll get that, the that was eight feet beyond the arc. 43 35. Hannah's extending. Looks like they're to 1 3 1. And they good still there. Muhammad got her pocket picked by Clink Scales to Blongo. To Clink Scales. Inside I Kennebu. Good move, way and good. That's where you gotta make it happen. 43-37, back and forth we go. Chambers to Nesbitt, back to Chambers. To Muhammad, Muhammad penetrates the lane. Ball gets kicked around, picked up. Nesbitt's got it now, inside. Block by Hart once she throws it away. Muhammad. Throws it away herself. Hannah's ball going back. Clint Scales at the 10-second line. Almost lost her dribble. Got it back. Blongo, 15-footer. It's Nine. good. <laughs> Pretty good response by the Yellow Jackets. Absolutely coming out on a 6-0 run. 43-39. Hannah back in the 1-3-1 zone. High post Nesbitt. Earl to Chambers, and there is a foul in the backcourt on Clint Scales, I believe. Yeah, you don't want to foul somebody at 30 feet from the basket, um, but I know what they're doing. They're trying to put pressure. He's got to make sure to keep an eye on Muhammad because she's <laughs> she's loitering out there waiting to jack up another one. Third team foul in the Yellow Jackets, 43-39, Woodmont. Chambers to Muhammad, back to Chambers. Little left-handed guard. Hannah's changed defense. Now they're back in the 1-3-1. Inside, turnaround shot, good. That's Basket all right. right I'd, make them, I'd make them make that shot. Yeah. It's a really, really tough shot to paint. And there was a foul on Woodmont. Harmony Earl is back in the game for Hannah. Taylor Wessel, the inbounds pass to Blongo. Big drive right there. I believe that was Harmony Earl that was driving to the basket, got fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Got to have them. Got to have them. First one, no good. Stewart returns to the lineup for Woodmont. Foreman takes a seat. Earl's second shot. 
She eyes it, she flies it, she got it. 45-40 Woodmont. Muhammad brings it up. Hannah's back in the 1-3-1. Chambers being pressured by Wessel. Keeps a dribble. Chambers into the lane, and we've got a foul. I believe that was on Earl. On Wessel. Oh, what? what? With the ball out of bounds underneath. Corner three, no good. Rebound tipped around, pulled down by Hannah Blongo. Brings it up, long pass, and she threw it away. Blongo threw it away, trying to hit Ikenabu on the wing. A little bit yeah, too tall. Tough catch there by yeah. uh, Ikenabu, just <clears throat> needed to bring that one down. Looks like we're going to have a really good crowd for this next game. Muhammad to Chambers. Chambers holding the ball. Trying to get Hannah to extend their defense a little bit. Wessel comes out. Closely guarded. Five second counts on. Over to Muhammad. Back to Chambers. Playing catch in the backcourt. Wessel comes out. Wessel. Over to Muhammad. Muhammad holds it. Round Earl. Throws it. Chambers runs it down. Into the lane. Drives it back out to Muhammad. Muhammad free throw line runner. She got it. Oh, what a big shot there. That was huge. Muhammad. Longo. Up towards Ikenabu. Ten footer. She got it. Back and forth. Really, really good shot there by Ikenabu. That's a good look ahead, too. And we have... An equipment issue, time out on the floor. Stewart returns to the lineup for Woodmont. Muhammad's got the ball back by the 10 second line. Looks like Woodmont may be, no. Muhammad drives into the lane, kicks it back out, and throws it away. Good pressure defense by the Jackets there. You know, there are a lot of people calling for the 30 second shot clock in high school basketball. And to me, my opinion, I think it's ridiculous because most teams can't hold the ball for 30 seconds. <laughs> Great point, Dan. Wessel to Blongo. Back to Wessel. She had a notion. Back over to Blongo. 38 seconds to go. Passing to the corner. Earl, layup, oh, got it. Beautiful. Beautiful move there on the baseline. Close this to where the Jackets were then three with under 30 to go. Extending the 1-3-1 a little bit farther out. There's a danger to that. Muhammad could drive the, the gaps. She picks up her dribble. She's in trouble. Has it knocked away. And quick timeout by Woodmont. Right. Save the possession. 12.5 seconds left in the third quarter. Woodmont leads 47-44. This one's going to go right down to the wire. Absolutely, like it should. 12 and a half seconds to go in the quarter. Jaggers trail by three, but have really picked it up. You know, Woodmont went on that tear in about 45 seconds where they hit three threes and extended that lead out to 10 points or 11 points. And now the Jackets have closed it back down within three with the, uh, basically by coming out and, and playing that extended zone to stake them away from the threes. Went away from the one, two, two. Kind of clogged it up the middle a little bit. Hannah's turnaround though, I think started when Clegg Scales hit that real long three Real deep three, correct. Second one of the game for the Jackets. Hannah stays in the 1-3-1 zone. Woodmont ball. Muhammad. Chambers. Nesbitt. Chambers. Two seconds. One second. Free throw line shot. And good. And that ends the third quarter. And the third quarter ends with the score. Woodmont 47. T.L. Hanna 44.
go. Fourth quarter action. Woodmont ball. Earl at the top of the 1-3-1 zone for Hannah. She's got a lot of length to her. Chambers to Muhammad from deep. She got it. She hit that from the Saluda River. <laughs> and it looks like Woodmont's going to stay in the 2-3 zone. Clink scales. Taking her time to Blongo. Blongo looking. Win. Drive. And she's fouled. Oh, no, they call that. traveling. A traveling call on Win, and the ball goes back to Woodmont. Chambers has been doing a lot of the ball handling responsibility in the second half for Woodmont. Right, which is probably a pretty good move because it lets Muhammad kind of float and get to her spot. Know where she is. Know where she is. Pullman. Muhammad, Thurman, Pullman powers it up. No good. Rebound tipped around. Put back up. Blocked. And it's picked up by Hannah. Blongo three on one. Fast break. Hits it ahead. Clean scales. Got oh, it. That's a great pass. Great catch. A great finish. That was a lot more difficult than it looked. Here comes Woodmont. Muhammad to Chambers. Chambers, top of the key. Corner Muhammad, three-pointer, no good. And we got a foul on Hannah. Yeah, they caught a push on win. Down low. Fifteen foul on Hannah. Woodmont underneath. Inbounds pass, Nesbitt. Has it knocked away, picks it up. Corner jumper good. Two pointer. 52 46 Woodmont. Clean scales to Earl, left handed runner. No, rebound. Rebound. Should be a jump ball. And we got a jump yep, ball. Got a jump ball. Should be Hannah's possession. Not a lot that Woodmont could do there with it when you kind of get a rebound underneath your basket and you're defended by two people. And Tiana Pullman just couldn't really do much with it. And the Jackets took advantage. Earl to Blongo. Hartwell for three. No good. Rebound, Chambers. Brings it up the right hand side of the court. Chambers. Top of the key. Over to Muhammad. Muhammad thinks twice, pick, throws it back out. Just don't lose Muhammad out there on the perimeter. Cross-court pass down low. Nesbitt powers it up. That hit the support. That's going to be T.O. Hanna basketball. Yeah, I mean, I, it's almost anybody but Muhammad. Let him shoot. Let her pass it to him. Clink Scales brings it up quickly for Hanna. To Earl. To win. Win drives the lane. Right-handed runner in the lane. No She's good, fouled. but she is fouled. Could have two shots on this. Is that, is that foul Nesbitt? Man, I couldn't hear. Couldn't no, either. Wins first one. In and out, no good. How many free throws have we left on the free throw uh, line I think tonight? we're shooting under 20%. Second one. No good. Rebound Woodmont. Chambers brings it up quickly. Keeps her dribble. Smart move to Muhammad. Muhammad up top. Looks like they're going to take a little bit of time off the clock. Muhammad being guarded by Earl. Muhammad's three. No good. Rebound Hannah. Hartwell has it. To Clink Scales. Across the 10 second line. Clink Scales. From way downtown, no good. Ball's knocked out of bounds off of Woodmont. Hannah Ball underneath. Another deep three from Clink Scales. Yep. <laughs> Hit the back iron. Harmony Earl. Clink Scales for three. Back. Little step back, no good. Rebound, Woodmont. 
Muhammad, bad pass out of bounds, Hannah's ball. We'll take that. Muhammad's fast, I don't think she's that fast. <laughs> Wessel returns to the Hannah lineup and so does Ikenabu. And Taylor Wessel will make the inbounds pass. Thurman returns to the lineup for Woodmont. And Wessel in the Clink Scales. Clink Scales brings it up. Over to Blongo. Inside win to Ikenabu. Grace Ikenabu has the ball stripped, picked up by Wessel. Wessel to Clink Scales to Blongo. Looking inside, knocked away, out of bounds. It stays with Hannah. Now under five minutes to play, and still a six point game. Hannah still in it. They're trying to get that ball inside down low to Ikenabu. Grace Ikenabu, one dribble, picks it up. Out the clinks, goes from way, way, way downtown. No good, rebound Ikenabu. And she dribbles it off the foot, picked up by Wessel to Blongo. Ball's knocked away and they're gonna call a foul, I think, on Muhammad. <laughs> Hannah's ball out underneath. Taylor Wessel will trigger the inbounds pass. She goes to Clink Scales, back to Wessel. To Blongo, back to Wessel. Wessel dribbles it towards the top of the key. To the right wing, oh. inside. Win, no good, rebound. Ikenabu to Wessel for three. She got it. Big shot there by Wessel to cut it to three. Three point game. Clink Scales picks up in the backcourt. But the offensive rebound in there led to second chances for Hannah. Muhammad. Muhammad in the backcourt looking for a high ball screen. She got it. Muhammad drives all the way down the lane and she is fouled by Clink Scales, I think. Anaya Muhammad will go to the free throw. No, they say the ball is out of bounds underneath. No shot. Foul is on the floor. Thurman will make the inbounds pass for Woodmont. Cross screen inside, back. Three pointer is good. That's her third Chambers. of the half. Chambers is killing us. 3.40 to go. Hannah down by six. Clink scales. Wessel for three. No rebound. Woodmont. Well, if Woodmont's smart, they're going to eat some clock here. The Jackets got to keep pressure on. Again, high ball screen. Chambers dribbling left, back to the right. Zigzags into the lane, down low, layup. Got it. Classic way of beating a zone. Yeah. When, Penetrate they, that gap. When they put that high pressure, get it to the middle and feed the post. Wessel inbound, into win inside. Ball's knocked away, picked back up by Wessel. Picked up by Woodmont. Race for the ball, run down by Blongo. Blongo in the backcourt, brings it up quickly. Got numbers and she'll push it. Wessel, Clink Scales, pump fake, back to Wessel. 2.48 to go. Clink Scales for three, no good. Rebound, Ikenabu to Blongo. And she brings it back out. Skip pass, Clink Scales, good pump fake. Into the lane and she draws the foul. Good pump fake there to attack it. Kind of finds himself down eight points with about two and a half minutes to go. We have a timeout on the court with 2.36 to go. Woodmont leads 57 to 49.
Here we go, the final 236 of the ball game. Woodmont leads 57-49. Asia Klink scales at the free throw line for Hannah. Two shots. Yeah, Dan, and this is where, I mean, if you can score with this clock stop, it's just vital, and there she misses the first one. What do you think, made free throw, come out with a little bit of a press? I do, I think you got a press here, but I think the press has got to be designed to keep the ball out of Muhammad's hands on the inbound. Thurman back in the, no, Pullman in the ball game for Woodmont. You probably go a possession or two before you start fouling. All right, Clink Scales second free throw in the air. No good, rebound Ikenabu, that's big to Wessel. For three, no, rebound Woodmont. Oops, knocked away, but a foul on Grace Ikenabu. And Coach Elrod did not like that call. Still doesn't like that call. <laughs> Hannah's picking up, extending a little bit. Got a whistle. It's one and one. Let's see if the officials remember who she found. <laughs> she does. She already went to the line. Well, she knows. <laughs> she, if they were know. smart, they'd <laughs> send their best free throw shooter to the line and make the ref change it. Jemaya Earl at the free throw line for Woodmont. Their coach Elrod was upset about that call, but it's really about the best thing that could have happened. Her first one, no good. Rebound, no good, and a foul on. Called the foul on Hartwell, I believe. Yeah, that was about the worst thing that could happen. You have a chance, right. you let them sneak in and grab an offensive rebound. You got to box out along the free throw line. Nesbitt at the free throw line. We haven't called her name a whole lot tonight, except for maybe the first quarter. Nesbitt's first one is good. One free throw to make it a 10 point lead, under 2.30 to play. Nesbitt's second one, good. Trickled over the front of the rim, inbounds to Clink Scales. Asia Clink Scales up the left hand side of the court, down the quarter to Ikenabu. Good pump fake, drives it away, puts it up, no good. Rebound Hartwell, no good. Rebound Woodmont. To Chambers. Being pressured in the backcourt by Clink Scales. Chambers dribbles out of it. Across the 10 second line, gets the ball to Muhammad. Muhammad in the backcourt. Five second counts on it. She dribbles out of it. No, they, they call oh, it traveling. Good, good defensive pressure there. The Jaggers need to play quick, but not fast. And they don't necessarily need to go down and start jacking up nope. threes either. There's time. I mean, because you got the fouls, you can put them at the line. You got two minutes, which is a lot of time. Long go to Clink Scales. Clink Scales. Three point line left side. She's going to shoot one from real deep. No good. Rebound Muhammad. And I don't think that's who you want to foul, but you may have no choice here in a minute. Muhammad brings it up to Nesbitt. Two passes that I would foul now. Nesbitt, they're in a weave. Ball, Nesbitt picks it back up inside and there's a foul on Hartwell. I thought she got fouled on the drive. I'm not sure that on the block was a foul, but regardless, it stays the same. She goes to the line. Tiffany Nesbitt at the free throw line for Woodmont. Woodmont leads by 10. She made the last two. Shot and round good. 60-49 Woodmont. This score is very misleading. Yeah, it's um they pulled away here at the very end, but you know, they got out to that quick lead with a bunch of threes at the start of the half. But the Jackets fought back and played extremely well. And as you said, this score is misleading because it's really just pulled away in the last minute or two. Link scales the Blongo. Minute 30 to go, 61-49 Woodmont. Blongo into the lane, a runner, backboard no good. Rebound, Hannah, Wessel to Earl. She got it. No, to Hartwood, sorry. And timeout, Hannah. Time By out. no means is it over, but I do think no. you've got to credit Woodmont with the way they came out. And, uh, you know, they beat Hannah's zone by shooting over the top of it. And, um, it wasn't anything that Hannah was doing wrong. I'm not sure. You know, they just made some shots. 
You know, for a second, I was questioning Woodmont back in the ball out like they did. It's kind of like they changed their style of play, and they kind of went dead there for about a minute or two, but they're back in rhythm again. Yeah, and that happens with teams. Teams that are playing in rhythm, if you break that rhythm, um, you know, we've seen it with the Hannah boys. They've, they've had a couple of big leads in games that um, they've let dwindle down, and it's because you have to, again, as I said, you got to play quick, but you can't. You don't want to play fast. Right. Can't play out of control. Correct. All right, Hannah's picking up full court. Full court man to man. Watch for somebody breaking long. Muhammad, there they go. Long pass up court. Nesbitt's got it. Layup, no good. Rebound, Hannah. Blongo. Brings it up, a minute 12 to go in the game. Blongo down the lane, has it knocked away, picks it back up, turns, fires, misses, rebound by Kennebu. Part one, they're all called traveling on Hannah. That's a tough call. Good offensive rebound. They may want to consider Muhammad quarterback for the boys football team. She just threw a dime. Inbounds pass. Goes to Nesbitt. Nesbitt is fouled by Hartwell. Up 10, and Wildcats are in the bonus, so they'll go to the line. And go to the free throw line is Tiffany Nesbitt. She's kind of a clutch free throw shooter from what yes. I've seen. One and one. A box out. Free throw, no good. Rebound Hannah. I can To clink scales and Oh, should have been double bonus. Our officiating crew was all over that after the fact. So Desmond will get a second one. Desmond free throw. This time it's good. 62-51 Woodmont. Asia Clint Scales brings it up for T.L. Hanna. To Blongo. To Wessel, to Clink Scales, cross court, long three, no good, rebound. Woodmont and a foul on Hannah. Now 50 seconds to go, and Woodmont with an 11-point lead and at the line. This is going to be a tough one for Coach L. Rogerson's team to come back from, but they don't need to hang their head. They played really, really well, and again, what was it, two weeks ago? This team was ranked number one, one in the state. state. Shamaya Earl at the free throw line. Double bonus, first one no good. There's still life. Got to make sure you box out. Don't give them a second chance. Earl's second one, she got it. 12-point lead for Woodmont, 50 seconds to go. Inbounds pass to Clint Scales. Clint Scales brings it up to Blongo. Blongo throws it away, picked up by Nesbitt. Nesbitt is fouled by Blongo. Yeah, 12-point lead with about 35 seconds to go. <laughs> Again, she's, she's been clutch at the free throw line. She's been living there. Tiffany Nesbitt, two shots. First one, she got it. Second free throw. No good. Rebound Hannah. Longo brings it up quickly, stops. Wessel drives baseline. Ikenabu, good look there. No. Rebound Ikenabu. No. Rebound Muhammad. 22 seconds to go. Coach Elrod will back his ladies yeah. off right now and let this one in. Looks like Woodmont's going to walk out of here with a 13 point victory and a probable second place finish in the region. 
And that's the ball game. As we talked about, Dan, nothing to hang their heads up no. there for the Lady Jackets. Um, the Woodmont played a fantastic second half. Uh, you know, the Jackets did what they could. Now, they, they left some points out there at the free throw line. Uh, and, um, you know, Woodmont, though, you don't want to take anything away from them because no. they played really, really well in that second half. I think uh, the free throw line on both ends was the, the difference of the ball game. Our inability to make a free throw and that Nesbitt's ability to make clutch free throws. Yeah, that, that's what extended that lead out and, it let, and allowed Hannah not to get back into it. Um, all right, well, Dan, you got any closing thoughts before we hang this one up? And well, then uh, we'll get ready in the next uh, 15 minutes or so to figure out who's going to get this region title on the boys' side. Uh, it was a nice game by Hannah. Got off to a real quick start and then just kind of let things drift away. Looks like they're going to be the third seed now going into the playoffs, which means they'll be on the road. As we mentioned, the very, very young team for the Yellow Jackets and thinks there's going to be a lot, a lot of good things happen to them in the future. Played hard. And now the Woodmont boys have come on the court. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes for the, for the call of the boys game for the region championship.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready for the start of the second game tonight between the T.L. Hanna boys and the Woodmont Wildcats boys. Dan Sheridan along with Fred Tolley on the call. Big game tonight, Fred. This is huge. It is, Dan. And, uh, you know, just really couldn't be more excited to be here. And, you know, the, the Hanna section here at the gym is completely full. The students have really showed up. And for obvious reasons, it's a big game. You know, basically the winner of this game will take the region crown. And that's huge because you'll get, like we said earlier, you'll have at least two home court games to start off. I would say we got, what, a gym that holds about 2,400 people. My guess would be we have about maybe 1,600 tonight. On yeah, hand. at least, but they're still filing in. If you yep. look on both sides, people are still coming in. And, um, you know, I think there's just an excitement in the air because not only is this for the region, the region championship, but last time uh, these two teams met when it was at Woodmont, went to double overtime and was won at a buzzer beater by Woodmont as they hit a three with about two seconds left. Now I promised Deb Powell, who plays tennis at Cardinal Racquet Club, that I'd give a shout out to her grandson, Wes Kellett. So here, this is my shout out for him. Well, I hope he has a good game, but not a great game. Well, I'll tell you this, Dan. Um, you know, you don't need just to give a shout out to Wes Kellett. He's a 6'5 senior that uh, was ranked as one of the top five players in the state preseason, and there's good reason for that. He uh, he was held scoreless in the first half during the first meeting, but came off uh, came off uh, ground in the second half and scored 18 to help lead that uh, victory for the Wildcats. Looks like it's about time for starting lineups. First of all, for Woodmont, number one, Dre Huff, quick as a cat. He's going to be tough to handle. Other guard, number four, Drake Stewart. Hit the game-winning three last game. Wes Kellett, 6'5", senior, going to AU. I don't know if he's going to play basketball, but they should look at it. Other starter, number 21, Jaden Bentley. He guarded Patterson last game. And then in the middle, Evan Ainsley, 6'6", senior. And now the starting lineup for the T.L. Hanna Yellow Jackets. Starting at wing for Hannah, Darius Armstrong averages about 12 and a half points a game. Davian Martin, a shooting guard, he averages about 12 points a game. Six six, Jaquarius Patterson, he averages about 17 points a game. In my opinion, the best on-ball defender in the region and maybe in the upstate, Anthony Edwards. And a smooth sophomore point guard, Zay Williams. Here we go. Now, if there are times we don't get the call what the game's going on, it's because people are standing up in front of us. But we'll do our best. Man, as we mentioned, you can really feel the excitement in the gym tonight. And, uh, you know, I think that both teams are anxious to get this started, get the nerves settled down, and just play good basketball. Uh, here we go. Rush for Anthony Edwards on Dre Huff. That'll be a matchup tonight. That'll be one to really, Woodmont. really watch. Stewart brings it up for Woodmont to Huff. Hannah's out there in a little bit of a trap. Underneath, Ainsley, ball's knocked out of bounds, and it belongs to Woodmont. Hannah will do that a lot of times off the tip. They'll come with a trap. 
And a quick zone, but now they're back man. Stewart into Aisley. Ball's tipped away, but he keeps it. Over to Huff. Martin's got Huff in the backcourt. Huff drives left. Into the lane. Floater. No good. Rebound. Kill it. He puts it back up, and he got it. Offensive rebounding right off the bat. Martin up court quickly to Williams. Williams to Armstrong. Armstrong back to Martin. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound. Stewart for Woodmont. Brings it up quickly. To Kellett. Wes Kellett. Takes they, a pass inside. To yeah, Bentley. they've decided to put Anthony Edwards on Kellett. See if they can shut him down. Ainsley, free throw line jump shot. No good. Rebound tipped around. And we got a foul called on Woodmont. Yeah, foul, great block out there. It was. By Javian. Javian Martin does such a good job playing for his size. He plays that point guard, but you get him in the paint, he can rebound. And as he's shown, he'll block that out there. You know, we got standing room only on this side of the court. Here comes Martin bringing it up for Hannah. Edwards goes across the lane. Martin to Patterson. Patterson looks. Armstrong for three. No good. Rebound. Kellett. Just to took that right from Anthony Edwards. Huff to Ainsley and he throws it away. And a ball. 6.42 to go in the first quarter. Both Two teams still a little nervous here, Dan. Looks but they'll, like they'll settle down because both of these are really good ball programs. Martin being guarded by Kellett. Timeline, penetrates. Patterson, back door cut to Williams. Reverse layup, no good. And they're all caught traveling. That's a tough call. It's a great rebound by Darius Armstrong. Really got undercut there. I'm not sure how that's a walk. I don't either. They, they just didn't call the foul. Then you got to call something. Hannah picking up full court in the backcourt. Stewart has it, guarded by Williams. Stewart across the timeline, gets around Williams, drives into the lane, stops, fires, in and out, no good. Rebound Hannah, rebound Edwards. Edwards up court to Armstrong. Armstrong runs it down, but it goes out of bounds. Was that the second turnover by Hannah? Yeah, again, just a little nerves here. And he's open in a few minutes. Stewart brings it up for Woodmont. Stewart. Right side being guarded by Williams. Kellett jammed up, stolen by, by Martin, but Martin knocks it out of bounds. Ball will remain with Woodmont. Gray Huff. Inbound pass. We got a foul in the backcourt. They're going to call it on call it on Williams. Kind of a ticky-tack nickel dimer. Woodmont ball, side court, pass into Stewart. Stewart for Woodmont, across the 10 second line, driving it to the right, stops. Bentley, Bentley being guarded closely by Armstrong to Ainsley, and they're gonna call a foul on, on Patterson. Yep, uh, Darius playing with his arms there instead of with his feet. Yeah. He let Ainsley get his shoulders around him. Ainsley at the free throw line shooting two. First one no good. Five thirty-five to go the first quarter. Woodmont leads two to nothing. Evan Ainsley at the free throw line for Woodmont. Second shot in the air. He got it. Three to nothing, Woodmont. Patterson into Williams. Left-handed dribble brings it up against Dre Huff. Williams across the timeline to Patterson. Patterson being closely guarded by Bentley. To Anthony Edwards back to Patterson. Lay in, no good, but he's fouled. Great pass there by Anthony Edwards and an even better cut by um, Patterson. By Patterson. That was a really, really nice cut and catch. Just need to get that finished, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Where is Patterson? Two shots, 73% free throw shooter. First one in the air, no good. End of the game for Woodmont. Hannah just needs to crack the ice here. 
Get a point on the board. Charlie Streetman and is in the game for Woodmont, number three. Patterson at the free throw line for the second one. It's in the air. No good. Missed them both. And what we have? We got a uh, lane got, violation. No, I think he called a foul. Or did he call a lane violation? They called a lane violation on 33 on Ainsley. Patterson's free throw, got it, got off. Maybe got the lid off the basket. Here we go, Martin, pick it up, Huff in the backcourt. Dre Huff drives it right. Martin stays with him, puts on the brakes. Pass over to Stewart. Stewart to Kellett, ball is knocked away, but Kellett gets it back. Drives the lane, gets it stolen by Edwards. And he gets fouled. Yeah, that's what we talk about with Anthony Edwards. Oh no, and it looks like Kellett's Ooh. hurt. Kellett's down. We're calling for the train. He looks, I hope he's fine. I think he's yeah, that's he's such a good player and such an important piece for Woodmont. You just don't want to see that. No. And it, there was nothing nefarious there. Anthony Edwards just doing what he does, which is playing great defense. And it looked like Kellett got tangled up. And I just hope he's okay. I can't tell from here. Is he holding his wrist? Yeah, I don't want to speculate on that. I don't that. either. We have a stoppage in play. Woodmont leads. They got the gloves on. He might have gotten uh, caught in the mouth. But it was just it was just a scrum yeah. for a loose ball. Yeah, yeah. There, there was there was no bad play on either part. There it was again Anthony Edwards just doing what he does and playing really really solid defense. Got the steal and then they got tangled up. Yeah, and you just don't want to see a kid. No. Like Kelly, get you know, not play in this game. It's just too important of a game, and he's such a, an important part for Woodmont. He's up. Yeah, it looks like he got hit in the mouth. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, I think he's got a bloody lip. He's a tough kid. Don't go to the bench. Get yeah, a it looks ice like they're going to take him back to the training room. Yeah. Gives us a chance to talk about what a great job that the play safe, play safe staff does and supplying trainers and taking really good care of these uh, athletes. So it's Hannah's ball in the backcourt, 3-1, Woodmont. Four fifty-nine to go in the first quarter. We've temporarily lost the feed on one side of the, the court, so we'll give you the full court shot, and we apologize. Underneath Edwards, more tight and three. Great pass by Armstrong. Stewart, long pass up ahead. The street, Streetman drives the lane, layup no good, rebound, Patterson. Patterson with a full one pass break. Off the board, good. <laughs> Yeah. Anthony Edwards just knocked that out of bounds. Another great defense. That's defense leading to offense, and that's Hannah's game. 5-3 Hannah. Huff having trouble getting the ball inbounds. Gets it into Stewart. Stewart across the 10-second line. Williams has got him. Good D there by Zay. Stewart, backcourt, ball down. Hand. Ainsley picks it up. To Perry. Perry back to Ainsley. And they're going to call a foul on that's gonna be, Patterson. That's, that's going to be two on Patterson early, early in this game. Looks like Adarius Arm. Uh, he's going to have to come out. That's going to be Jameer Hogan that will check Hogan in for him. The game. <laughs> Hogan doesn't have the size or you know, doesn't score at the rate that he does, but he's had some really, really good games over the past few. And he's a tenacious rebound. Sweet, man. To Stewart, guarded by Williams. Stewart drives it left, in trouble. Oh, in good trouble. defense. Stand by Williams to Martin. Martin takes it all the way down, shot is blocked, and we got a oh, charging no. foul. Oh, no. Oh, I cannot believe they called a charge oh, there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know, Dan, we know it's a tough job to be a ref, but 
Sometimes you just got to call it like it is, and that was just a, that was a bad call. It was a missed call. Woodmont ball. In a Stewart. Stewart brings it up for Woodmont slowly. Williams has got him in the backcourt. Stewart across the 10 second line. Drives it. To Huff. Huff drives a lane. Throws it up wild. And they're going to call a foul on Armstrong, I think. Yeah. Coach Arrington and the fans are not happy with those last two calls. Dre Huff at the free throw line. First one, got it. Matt Tolley enters the game for Williams. Of second one, no good. Rebound, Armstrong to Martin. To Tolly along the Tolly drives, a little floater on the baseline, no good. Rebound, also no good. Tip back up the end by, by Hogan. 7 5 handle. Getting out and running, Jackets doing what they do best. It was all over Stoughton. Stolen away by Hannah, by Hogan. Hogan brings it up for the Yellow Jackets. Takes it all the way down. Way up. No good. Rebound Stewart. Got a fast break. Up, up ahead. Martin blocked by, blocked by Tolly. Martin to Hogan. Hogan. Yeah. And there's a foul call, but I got to make sure it's against Woodmont. Again, we apologize for uh, the video feed right now, but we've got one of the cameras out, so we basically only can go with the full court shot, and we got fans standing up, which doesn't lead to the <laughs> the best scenario. All right, we have a timeout on the court. Timeout on the court, 2.57 to go in the first quarter. The score, Hannah 7, Woodmont 4. We're back in action. Near Hogan at the free throw line. Shooting two shots. First one in the air. Good. Kelvin Johnson is in the ball game for Woodmont now. Hogan's second one. Up. No good. Rebound Tolly. Offensive rebound. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't Double see that. Again, that's what Matt Tolly can bring to the game, though. He's, he's not big by height or weight, but he, he's a, a relentless rebounder. Tolly's on Stewart. Clap with his hands. 10 second line. Here we go. Stewart brings it up. Top of the key to the right. Stewart keeps it. Stops to Huff. Huff drives the lane. Floater, got it. Here comes Hannah back the other way. Martin brings it up quickly for the Yellow Jackets. To Armstrong. Armstrong to Edwards. Edwards to Martin. Three-pointer from the corner, no good. Rebound, Armstrong. Puts it back up, good! Darius Armstrong has been an absolute beast on the boards tonight. 10-6, Hannah. Polly on Stewart. Stewart behind his back, stopped. Corner to Perry. Perry to Streetman. Streetman to Huff. 
Huff puts it on the floor, into the lane, kicks it out. Taylor for three, no good. We got a foul on, on. There's on Armstrong and. Foul on a Darius Armstrong. It's his second, Bentley returns to the lineup for Streetman. Inside Bentley, jump shot no good. Rebound Bentley, Perry, free throw line, got it. 10 to eight, Hannah. Woodmont now is in a one, two, two zone extended. Martin to the gap, to Tolly in the corner. Tolly's trapped. Tolly to Martin. Martin turns, fires, no good. Rebound Edwards, and he's there. Uh, Offensive uh, rebound has become really important. Tolly got caught in that corner, but made a good pass in there to free himself, and then on the missed shot, Anthony Edwards again coming up with a big offensive rebound. Edwards at the free throw line, shooting two. 10-8 Hannah. Edwards first one, got it. 11-8 Hannah. Anthony Edwards blind for his second shot. In the air, got them both. Hannah by four. Into Taylor, back to Stewart. Stewart brings it up, guarded by Matt Tolley. Stewart drives down the lane, stops. Corner, Taylor three, no good. Rebound, Tolley. Tolley brings it up for Hannah. It's about his second or third rebound. Back in the one, two, two zone, Tolley to Edwards. Edwards in the gap, jump stop. Martin, way up, got it. Great pass, great finish. Gray Huff brings it up for Woodmont. Huff on being guarded by Martin to Stewart. Stewart in the lane. Shot oh. is blocked. And I'll call a foul on Javian Martin. God, oh, that's it's already the seventh team foul on Hannah. So Woodmont will be in the bonus for the rest of the half. You know, the number of fouls doesn't always tell the story because Hannah is an aggressive defensive team, but it does seem to they when the cameras is off, won't work. When the cameras is not working. Camera one, which I think shows this end of the court. Stewart's second free throw is good. Caught a foul on 21 for Woodmine. On a made free throw. Foul on Bentley. All right, we've got our cameras back, so we'll be able to give you a little better view of things as we go forward. All right, they have Taylor, Stewart, Huff, Perry, and Streetman in the ball game for Woodmont right now. Back in the 1-2-2 two, two zone. Hollis to Tolly. Andrew Hollis. Skip pass to Darius Armstrong for three. No good. Rebound, Stewart for Woodmont. And they're going to call a nickel dimer on Matt Tolley in the back. Well, I know if anything, it was a push off. The eighth team foul on Hannah with 43 seconds left in the first quarter. Seems like Drake Stewart's making a living at the free throw line. Yes, and he's a good shooter. One and one. First one in the air. Got it. Looks like Kellett is back on the bench, getting ready to come back in the game. That's good news and bad news. Stewart's second one is good. Wes Kellett returns to the lineup. Got another foul on a made free throw on Woodmont. Man, I don't know that I've seen that a lot, but definitely not twice in a row. I mean, 
Are they trying to get the game under control? I don't think it's been a rough game. No, it's um, but evidently because both of those fouls have been against the Darius Armstrong, so he's doing something to cause them to hold him. Coach Morris of Woodmont doesn't look happy. Armstrong's at the free throw line with a one and one. We're in the bonus. In the air, no good. Rebound, Streetman what? to Stewart. Stewart brings it up, 37 seconds to go, first quarter. Huff. Hollis with the steal, knocked away by Armstrong to Edwards. Edwards in the corner to Tolly. Tolly, good fake. Jump shot, no good. Rebound, Edwards. And they call traveling on Anthony Edwards. Now the Hannah crowd is not in favor of that call. Yeah, that was a that was a foul, a jump ball. It was anything but a walk. That's about a five-second count, I would think. Inbounds to Stewart. Stewart takes the clock quickly. Huff puts it on the floor, drives the lane, layup blocked by Hogan. Kellett's layup good. In the Hollis. Five seconds to go. Hollis to Edwards. Edwards jump shot at the buzzer, no good. And that ends the first quarter of play with the score, Hannah 14, Woodmont 13. Yeah, they had been a really, really up and down kind of first quarter and uh, took both teams a while to get started. And at the same time, you know, it's been broken up and hadn't been able to get in rhythm because of all the foul calls both ways. It hadn't been it hadn't been against one team or the other, but there's just been a lot of fouls called in that first quarter. Sometimes you got to remind the referees what's at stake in a game like this and let a flow develop to the game. Absolutely. All right, well, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back at the start of the second, second quarter. Here we go, start of the second quarter. Hannah leads by one, Armstrong into Hollis. 1-2-2 two, two zone being employed by Woodmont. Armstrong, deep wing, Hollis looking. Tolly, three-pointer, corner, got it! That Tolly for three, Hannah's in the press. Stewart brings it up quickly. Stewart drives away, back out the huff, back to Stewart, looking for Kellett, the streetman. Huff. Huff drives right, pulls up, baseline jump is short, rebound, Perry, back out, Stewart for three, no good, rebound Hollis. Andrew Hollis looking up to Tolly, Tolly to Armstrong, Darius Armstrong, back to Tolly, to Hogan for three, no good, rebound Edwards. Puts him on the floor, puts him back up and in. Anthony Edwards is doing a fantastic job on the offensive glass. 19-13, Hannah. Gray Hop brings it up quickly for Woodmont. Over to Stewart. Back cut. Oh! oh, oh, oh they did not call that a foul. Hannah with the ball with 19 That was a fantastic block by Armstrong. I wish I'd have seen it. Ainsley back in the ball game. Stewart to Kellett. Kellett being guarded by Ho by Armstrong. Kellett. Dan, you know, based on the fact that they took that ball out of bounds, I think they called the block out of bounds. I don't think they called that a foul. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. 
West Kellett's going to the free throw line, shooting one and one. They called that foul on Edwards. Kellett's first one, no good. Rebound tipped around, pulled them Armstrong. Armstrong to Hollis. Hollis brings it up quickly for Hannah. Stop short of the 10 second line, back to Armstrong, back to Hollis. Hollis looking inside. Uh, skip, not a very well advised skip pass. Hollis with the steal. He's going to shoot a three. He yes. 22 13, Hannah. Hollis on top. Big pull up jumper there by Andrew Hollis. Huff driving. Stops. Free throw line. Streetman. What are we going to get here? What do we got? Oh, got a charging time. foul. Charging foul on Streetman. <laughs> Hollis doing it on one end of the court with a pull up three and then taking the charge there to get the turnover. Great to see it from the senior. Donald's in the ball game for Hannah, and he has the ball right now at the wing to Hollis. To Tolly, drives the baseline, good kicks pass. the ball to shot's good. Great pass, great drive. Ray Huff brings it up for Woodmont. Over to Stewart. Stewart, long three-pointer, no good, rebound. Tolly to Hollis, to Edwards. Anthony Edwards left, no good. Now foul on Hollis. Foul to Ainsley. Dan Hannah's got on this little run here with three guys off the bench. I know. I was going to say that. They are really playing hard right now. Hannah leads by 11. Evan Ainsley is at the free throw line for Woodmont. Got another whistle. I think this situation where a ref's doing a good job, I think he's going in there and talking to them without showing up players because it's getting a little mouthy down there. Evan Ainsley at the free throw line. They're in the double bonus. I don't have a number two on my sheet, so I don't know who just came in the ball game. Yeah, I'm, with you. I'm looking, and I don't either. Ainsley's first one. Back to the rim, now around, no good. Ainsley's second free throw in the air. Short. Rebound, kill it, he got it. 24-15, Hannah. Edwards to Armstrong to Hollis, drives baseline to Armstrong. Armstrong, spin move on Kellett, drives away to Donald, back out to Hollis. Hollis, free throw line. Back out, Armstrong for three, got it! Big shot, Darius Armstrong. 27-15, Hannah. When a Darius gets hot, he's a really, really quality shooter. Stewart drives baseline, floater short, rebound Hannah, Donald. Donald. Oh! Call the traveling on Donald. He did, it was really kind of a self-pass. That's why it looked like a self-pass. Martin in the ball game now for Anthony Edwards, give him a little bit of a breather. Yeah, it's um, Ants had such a fantastic first quarter. Kill it. First half. Back out to Huff, over to number two, over to Stewart. What we got? A call on the floor. Down Donald. <laughs> Found it. Ainsley. <laughs> 27-25, Hannah, 4.46 to go in the second quarter. 
Ainsley's free throw in the air, got it. Well, they're rolling the dice here. Uh, big Bring time. it to Clarence Patterson back in with two fouls to give Darius Armstrong a break. Just got to play smart here. Ainsley's second one. And it's good. And Perry returns 6'6". Six, six. Perry returns the lineup for Ainsley. And Patterson inbounds it to Martin. Looks like Woodmont's going to go man to man. High ball screen. Oh, it's stolen away by Kellett. Kellett takes it all the way down, and he dunks it. 27-19. Wes Kellett. Donald. Hollis. Patterson to Martin. Martin drives it. Free throw line. Throws it out to Donald off his head. Goes into the backcourt over and back. Woodmont ball. Man, this is what happened last game. Hannah gets a little rattled. And when they do, you know, Woodmont's a good enough team to take advantage of it. Armstrong returns to the lineup for Donald. Edwards returns to the lineup for Tolly. Inbounds pass. Oh, oh, stolen away by Martin. Martin drives in. Layup good. Back to the 10-point lead. Hollis on Huff. Huff breaking down. Trap at the half court. Gotta be careful. Oh, good, good drive and dish there. Perry for the layup for Woodmont. 29-21 Hannah. 3.55 to go in the second quarter. Davian Martin. Martin to Hollis. Hollis to Armstrong for three. Yeah. When the Bears gets hot, he let him shoot. Inbounds pass to Huff. 32-21 Hannah. Hollis on Huff. Huff drives all the way down the lane. We're going to have a... He's going to call, call on the foul on the floor on Andrew Hollis. Yeah, that very easily could have gone the other way. I think I saw a little chicken Yeah, the chicken wing. winging him a little bit. Gray Huff at the free throw line, double bonus. Huff's first one is good. And we have a timeout on the court. Yeah, Woodmont takes their timeout with 3.30 left here in the, in the half. And Jackets holding a 10 point lead. I wanted to say it was a TV timeout, but that would have been a lie. <laughs> we are broadcasting both uh, audio and video, but we don't have commercials that we got to take the under, the under four timeout for. <laughs> Hannah's done a really good job, and we mentioned this, um, of going deep. I mean, they've gone eight deep um, and, and been able to build this lead. While a couple of guys, um, the starters that usually get a lot of minutes, have been on the bench in foul trouble, and also gives them a rest. So Dre Huff goes back to the free throw line, shooting the second of a two-shot foul. Up dribbles it three times, fires, no good, rebound Edwards. Hannah's lead is 10, 32-22, up for to Martin. Martin drives into the lane, stops. Rebound Armstrong, back up, no good. Rebound Edwards, up, no good. And we got a, what we got? Jump ball. We don't call a jump ball, but again, I mean, Anthony Edwards, unbelievable offensive rebound, but then gets hammered going up and no call. Taylor returns to the lineup. Kelvin Taylor returns to the lineup for Woodmont for number two. Huff looking. Inbounds pass to Stewart, guarded by Martin. Brings it up the right side. Stewart calling out the play. Stewart penetrates, kicks it to Huff. Way downtown three, air ball. Ball goes out of bounds, hand the ball. Unless you're Steph Curry, that's not a good pull. <laughs> Or Ayanna Muhammad. But <laughs> Woodmont now is at a diamond and one press. 
And Hannah going with a little offense defense as they bring Patterson in. And Hollis to Patterson to Martin. Martin trapped to half court. Gets the ball stolen away. Kellett takes it. Layup. No good. Rebound. Out to Taylor. Taylor for Woodmont. To Stewart. To Kellett for three. No good. Rebound. Edwards. Edwards breaks out of the pack to Hollis. Hollis. Layup left handed. No good. Edwards to follow. Got it. That's back to back. God. Rebounds for Anthony Edwards. Let's talk about the, the job the good queries Patterson did on Kellett driving in and not picking up that third foul. That would have been huge, too. Stewart. Little Euro step down lane. No good. Rebound Armstrong. Armstrong to Hollis. Hollis brings it up for Hannah. 2.16 to go in the second quarter. Hannah by 12. Arrington, Coach Arrington giving the call. One four set for Hannah. Little Gonzaga inside to Patterson. And we got a foul on Perry. One of their two interchangeable 6'6 six, six kids that they bring in. Yeah, Woodmont's long and athletic, but so is Hannah. Where is Patterson at the free throw line? Anthony. Yeah, Matt Tolley returns the lineup for Edwards. Patterson with a one and one. First one in the air. In and out, no good. And we got a lane we violation, a lane on, violation Woodmont. on Woodmont. That's what, the, at least the third lane yes. violation I've seen tonight, boys and girls. That, correct. And don't forget the two fouls That's right. on free throw attempts. Aquarius Patterson, six foot, six inch junior. Long and lanky. Free throw up, no good again. Rebound comes down to Ainsley. Ainsley to Kellett, to Dre Huff. Huff brings it up for Woodmont. 34-22 Hannah. Huff driving right, dribble handoff to Kellett. Kellett puts it on the floor, drives to the free throw line, stops out to Stewart. Stewart, back to Huff. Dre Huff in the backcourt being guarded by Darius Armstrong. Huff down the lane. Floater short, and what do we got? We got a charging foul. Matt Tolley getting good set there and taking that charge. I think that's his second one that he's taken. Obviously won't shoot free throws because of player control foul. Right. But Hannah will get possession with 133 left and a 12 point lead. It looks like Woodmont's falling back into a man to man. Martin brings it up. Martin to Armstrong. Armstrong to Tolly. Tolly drives baseline. Has the ball knocked away. Turns down the lane. Gets his own rebound. Has it stripped away from him by Stewart. Stewart to Huff on the run. Huff brings it. He's going to stop. Shoot a three. No good. Rebound. Patterson. Patterson breaks out of the pack. Stops. Martin to Hollis. Hollis drives. Pulls up, shoots a jumper, short. Rebound, Woodmont. 50 seconds to go in the quarter. 34-22, Hannah. Huff to Taylor. Kelvin Taylor to Ainsley to Huff. Guarded by Hollis. Huff in the corner to Stewart. Stewart gets in the lane, has the ball knocked away. Picked up by Armstrong. Armstrong takes it. Comes in, layup, good! 30 seconds to go in the half. Taylor to Dre Huff. 36-22 Hannah. Huff to Taylor. Guarded by Tolly. Taylor will shoot a long three. No good. Rebound. Patterson. Patterson on the drive. Lays it up. No good. Rebound. Yeah, he was foul going for his offensive rebound. That foul's going to be on Evan Ainsley. Where is Patterson to go to the free throw line? Little words back and forth. Yeah, now being the double bonus here. 7.9 seconds to go and have his lead stretched out to 14. Two shots. Where is Patterson? Patterson. 
First one, no good. There's a lid on the basket tonight for Jaquarius. He's usually a very reliable free throw shooter. Let's make this one. Patterson, second one. Eyes it. Got it. Hannah by 15. Hogan returns the lineup for Patterson. Yeah, good move by Coach Arrington to get those guys out that don't want them to get any potential foul trouble. Inbounds pass goes to Huff. Seven seconds to go in the half. Uh, and Hollis court, picks up Hollis. a cheap one right at midcourt. Not a smart foul. That's Hollis's third foul. Well, and you know, I know. It, it wasn't. I knew that it's not a smart foul, but really, honestly, that that was one minimal contact. Right. He was just playing, playing really good defense. Uh, three throws good. Cuts the lead to 14. 3.9 seconds to go in the half. Martin returns to the game. Hollis takes a seat. Patterson returns to the game for Hogan. Looks like Woodmont's setting up the press on a made free throw. Not a lot Hannah can do with 3.9. You can get it not right really. in the front court, but probably not going to have a great look at it. Uh, second free throw is around, no good. Rebound Armstrong to Tolly. Tolly from half court. Oh, in and out, no good. And it that is everything that go down. Burton Haywood. And Hannah takes a 14 point lead into halftime. 37, 23, TL Hannah. We'll be back in about five minutes.
Here we go, getting ready for the start of the third quarter, and Fred Tolley has the unofficial statistics for the first half. Yeah, thank you, Dan, and what a good first half it was. Good basketball by both teams. Glad to see Kellett back out for Woodmont after an early injury. Um, I do want to kind of go through the stats, and these are provided by our crack statistician, Ming Sheridan. Um, Woodmont shooting about 42% um, from twos, um, with six for 15, but are 0 for 8 from three, Dan, and that's a big number. That's because huge. They're a good shooting team. Uh, they do have 12 rebounds, but one of the things that is very key to this is they have 11 turnovers. So Hannah defense has caused a lot of that, and not only that, Hannah has scored a lot of points off those sure. turnovers. Hannah shooting 10 for 24 from the field for two points, and 40% or four for 10 uh, from the three-point line. Hannah's uh, five for 10 from the free-throw line. Uh, you know, need to pick that up because those are baskets right. and points that'll count. One big stat here: Hannah's out rebounding Woodmont 19 to 12, and a big majority of those are offensive rebounds, and that is huge because last game that is one of the differences where Woodmont out rebounded Hannah, but this time it looks like Coach Arrington and Coach Sheridan have got the kids dialed in and understanding the importance of those possessions. And we're getting ready to start the third quarter. It looks like Woodmont's going back to their starting lineup. Kellett, Huff, Brantley, Stewart, and it looks like they're starting Ainsley. Hannah's starting Patterson, Williams. He's been out for a good while. Edwards, Martin, and Armstrong, and Patterson. Inbounds pass. So Williams, and Williams brings it up. It's Dre Huff all over him. Williams drives it last, left, bounce pass. Inside, Edwards, good move, lay in, got it. Anthony Edwards, he's just he's just crafty. He just knows how to play basketball. Up court to Kellett. Kellett inside to Ainsley. Ainsley puts it up, no good. Rebound, rebound, lost out of bounds. Saved by Martin. Martin oh, what a good outlet pass. Patterson's going to take it, lay up, no good. Rebound comes off to Woodmont. Good defense there by Kellett, not the foul. Bentley with the rebound to Huff. To Kellett for three, long. Rebound Armstrong. Armstrong. Yeah, good good, good decision yeah. there by Adair's Armstrong to slow that down. Looks like Kellett for Woodmont's playing with some cotton in his nose and some tape around there to stop that bleeding. Martin to Armstrong for three, short. Rebound. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Uh-oh, a little shoving match going on in the corner. I can't see about people standing up, but Armstrong was pushed initially and then retaliated. We'll see what they do. Calling the players over to the sideline. Armstrong was pushed by Ainsley, and then Armstrong kind of came back to him, had to be separated by the officials. We'll see what they're going to call as they sort this all out. They ought to call a double foul is what they need to do. We'll see. Looks like the technical foul on, on Woodmont. Yeah, yeah, they got the they got a foul on Woodmont and then a technical on Woodmont. And JV and Martins going to the free throw line, shooting the technical free throws. Darius Armstrong was just playing really good defense on Ainsley, and I think he took exception to it and literally just put his, yep, put his hand in his good, put his hand in his chest and pushed him, and then got in his face. Martin, second free throw. I'm not a referee, but I don't think you can do that. No, you can't. Second free throw by Martin is also good. And Hannah now has opened up an 18-point lead, and it'll be Hannah's basketball on the side. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter, 41-23 Hannah. Coach Morris of Woodmont is expressing a little bit of uh, disagreement with the call. Yeah, he can disagree all he wants. I'll watch <laughs> that one. 
And Jaquarius Patterson's going to make the inbounds pass. Being guarded by Bentley. Patterson to Armstrong. Armstrong, top of the key, drives right, stops. Acrobatic shot, no good. We got a foul on Ainsley. Well, that was um, a good drive by Darius, but to be honest with you, that kind of kind of bailed out there as he was yes. having to just put it at the basket. All right, Armstrong shooting two. That's three fouls, including the technical in the first minute first one's of good. the half. So Ainsley's going to have to set with now four fouls. That's right. But his twin, Perry, comes right into the ball game. Armstrong's second one. We got a whistle. We got a whistle. What's uh, uh, a whistle for? Uh, yeah, Anthony Edwards was tying his shoe at midcourt. Armstrong, second one. Got it. Twenty-point lead. I think we had this last game too. Yeah, they got to avoid falling into pitfalls of being too passive and then allowing Woodmont to creep back in this game. They need to keep their foot on the gas. That's gotta be a 10 second count. Huff drives it, lay in, got it. Martin driving on, Stewart throws it away. Woodmont ball. Again, understand the possessions are key and you don't have to play that fast. Again, I'm not saying get passive. You gotta keep your foot on the gas, but you gotta play smart. <laughs> don't let them creep back in it because Drake, they're capable as we saw last time. Right, Drake Stewart brings it up. Behind his back, dribble hand off to Huff. Huff on Williams, Huff, three pointer. No good. Out of bounds, off of Woodmont. Hand of ball. Oh, well, they've changed the call. They're gonna give the ball to Woodmont. I, I thought it looked like it went off of Patterson. It may have. He did a great job of blocking out, but the ball may have brushed him on the way out. Stewart to Huff. Huff drives into the lane. Oh, Step back. Nope, they're going to call it. Calling Anthony Edwards. Yes. I thought it was Moral Martin, but what do I know? Inbounds pass goes to Bentley. Bentley to Stewart. Stewart pull up jumper from the free throw line. Got it. He's got a good looking jump shot. He does. 43 27 Hannah. Back to back baskets by Woodmont. Williams. Williams for Hannah. Drives the lane. Floater. Round no good. And we're going to have a foul yeah. on Armstrong. Well, Adairs does a great job of crashing the boards, but he was over the back then. I'd like to see how to be a little more patient and find the open shot because they got guys that can knock them down. All right, Hannah's kind of in a three-quarter court, one-two-two two press. Huff to Stewart. Stewart to Huff. Huff in the corner to Kellett. Kellett drives baseline. Step back jumper. Got it. Here comes Woodmont. Leads 14. Williams brings it up slowly. Just like that. What was the 20-point lead? It's down to 14. Patterson to Armstrong. Armstrong drives, puts it up off the backboard. Yeah. No good. Rebound Kellett. Don't need to force it. Kellett to Stewart. Stewart, full steam ahead, coming down the lane. Layup blocked away by Patterson. Here comes Martin. Two on two fast break. Martin drives on Kellett. He has his shot blocked. Woodmont's got it. Dre Huff in the in action. Pulls up from the free throw line. In and out. No good. Rebound Patterson. Edwards to Martin. Martin drives the lane and throws it away. We're getting a little impatient. Yep, and Hannah's gone to a full timeout. That's a good timeout by Coach Arrington. Just to get things settled down, don't let them creep back in this game. We'll so, take this timeout with them, Dan. We'll come back as soon as we start the action. All right. 444 left in the third quarter. 43-29 Jackets.
We're back on air. Woodmont's ball. Handle looks like they're picking up man to man. Huff. Inbounds pass to Stewart. Matt Tolley's got him. Stewart brings it up. Drives. Kicks it to Huff. Huff looking, looking. Huff drives the lane, stops. Oh, the ball. That's the ball. And traveling on Dre Huff. Yeah, great, great help, defense. Great help defense there. Matt Tolley jumped in and caused that travel. Aquarius Patterson will inbound it for Hannah to Martin. And Martin brings it up. Looks like Woodmont's still in the man-to-man. -man. Got Bentley on Patterson. Patterson has the ball right wing over to Edwards, back to Patterson. Patterson kicks it out to Martin for three in the corner. No good. Rebound. Taken by Huff. Huff brings it up quickly for Woodmont. Oh! Huff drives the lane all the way down, throws it off of Bentley's shoulder, gets his own rebound. Out to Kellett. Now well, they got number two back in the game. No name number two. Huff. Got it. Guarded by Tolly. To Bentley. Bentley being guarded by Armstrong. Bounce pass to Huff. Baseline. Puts a move on Tolly. Step back jumper short. Rebound Tolly. Matt Tolly. To Adarius Armstrong. 3.35 to go in the third quarter, Hannah by 14. Armstrong dribbles it to the left, over to Patterson. Go back screen. Martin drives the lane, layup. Got it. Great take there. Martin's got Huff, Huff brings it up. Gets the Hannah pressure, Dre Huff. Throws it away, Hannah's ball. Three oh nine to go in the third quarter. Hannah forty five, Woodmont twenty nine. Darius Armstrong and Javian Martin. Martin brings it up for Hannah. Martin taking his time to Armstrong. Armstrong bounce pass inside to Edwards out to Tolly. Tolly back to Edwards. No good rebound. Armstrong up. No good. Rebound, Woodmont, Bentley's got it. I call a foul on Tolly, but I thought that was great that hustle. looked like a good block. I think Bentley was going to go in to try to dunk it. Yeah, that's good hustle to get back. And Jaden Bentley at the free throw line for Woodmont. Shooting two. First one, no good. What is it that the kids say, ball don't lie? That's right, ball don't lie. Stewart returns to the lineup for Woodmont and it looks like Huff's gonna take a breather. Bentley second one, short. Rebound, Edwards, great yeah, block out. Good block out by Ant there. Got a foul on Woodmont. That is their fourth foul of the third quarter, in the second half. Streetman comes in for Bentley. And Martin brings it up for Hannah. Across the 10 second line. Back screen, Edwards drives, stops, puts it up, good. Good take, he's had some kind of game. He's just really, really played well. West Kellett ahead to Stewart. Stewart gets in the lane, pull up, 15 footer, short, rebound Armstrong. Armstrong brings it up for Hannah quickly to Edwards. Edwards into the lane. And we got a foul. That's what we're talking about. Ant will get killed under the basket, no call, and then they pick up the ticky tack. So I guess right. they have a way of evening it out. Anthony Edwards go to the free throw line. Shooting two. Edwards is first one, no. Can't leave points on the free throw line. Well, 
Edwards' second free throw. Takes a deep breath. One, two, dribbles, fires, got it. Hannah's built the lead back up to 19. In inbounds pass goes to Stewart. Stewart between his legs, across the 10-second line, driving. Stop, floater, now we got another foul. Then all these foul calls are going to have me here past my bedtime. And we got a technical foul called a Martin. He must have said the magic word. Yeah, we won't say that on the no. air. So he got a personal foul, compounded it with a technical foul. Yeah, so they'll get two shots for the technical. And then two shots for the while shooting in the act of foul. And, and then, then the, ball. the ball. And this is what we talk about. That's you know, right. All of a sudden it's a 19 point lead, but it can shrink in a hurry. Drake Stewart's at the free throw line for Woodmont. Fires, in and out, no good. Second one. Check ball, check ball, check ball. He got it. 48-30. Now Kellett's gonna shoot the technicals, I think. Yeah, and I, I get it. He's probably the best free throw shooter, but I don't like that move as a coach. I'd leave the guy that's been on the line. He gets his rhythm. Kellett's first one. Got it. Kids maybe, got that's why shot. maybe that's why I'm behind the microphone <laughs> and not coaching basketball. <laughs> he has got a nice looking shot. Wes Kellett's second one. It's in the air, and it's good. Nothing but net. All right, so that's a three point turn right there, and they get the ball. Got subs in. Hollis and Zay Williams back. have returned for Edwards and Martin. Take a seat. So Hannah has Hollis, Williams, Tolly, Patterson, and Armstrong. Inbounds pass goes to Stewart. Minute 58 to go in the third quarter to Streetman. Streetman to Kellett. Kellett for three. Short. Rebound Hannah Patterson. Good block out by all parties there. Williams brings it up for Hannah. Jay Williams over to Armstrong to Tolly. Tolly drives baseline, layup good. Matt Tolly. A glue guy that can score occasionally. 18 point lead. Gray Huff on Tolly, drives in the lane, pulls it up from the elbow, got it. 50 34. Williams brings it up for Hannah. To Patterson. To Hollis. Hollis has the ball knocked away. It's uh, it a good look and a good cut there by Jaquarius. That may have been a dunk if they'd yep. connected. A really good look and good cut. Just got kicked. Tolly triggers the inbounds pass to Hollis in the backcourt. Back to Tolly. Tolly for three. Got it! Matt Tolly! And as the leads back to 19, Dre Huff into the line, pushed up, but no call. Huff down the lane. He got it. That's a good move. Inbounds pass to Williams. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Williams over to Patterson to Hollis. Hollis drives, kicks it over to Williams. Williams drives into the lane, pass to Tolly. Get it out there. And they're going to call traveling on Matt Tolley. Yeah, he was pushed, um, but but he didn't have his feet set, so probably a good call there. Tanner Epps is in the ball game for Tolley. Dre Huff in the great Stewart. 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Stewart on Williams. Stewart drives, trips. Father will call foul Williams. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough call, but the right call. 
It's a 16 foul on Hannah in the third quarter. Woodmont's ball. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Inbounds pass goes to Stewart. Drake Stewart. Gray Huff being guarded by Epps. Stewart, I mean, Huff for three, no good. Rebound Streetman, and they're going to call a foul on the Darius on the Armstrong. You know, he committed the foul, but he didn't hold. And I hate it when referees do that. Yeah, he it was a push, but one and one. Charlie Streetman at the free throw line for Woodmont. Anthony Edwards returns to the game for, for Hollis. I don't know that we mentioned Tanner Epps in the game now for the Jackets too. Really good defender, brings a lot of energy. Stewart, no good by Streetman. Rebound to Patterson. 13 seconds to Armstrong. Armstrong drives. Stops at the top of the key, keeps his dribble over to Patterson. Six seconds. Epps drives baseline, back out to Patterson. Patterson for three. Got it! At the buzzer. Good shot there to end the quarter. Put the Jackets up by 20 going into the fourth quarter. That's huge. That was huge. Yeah, the basketball guard smiled down on that one as it hit off the rim. Came back down. Now, Dan, what we need to do, we have to, we've seen this movie before, and let's make a different ending. That's right. That's right. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back to start the fourth quarter. The Jackets up 56-36. All right, here we go. Inbounds pass goes to Drake Stewart. Stewart brings it up, drives into the lane, kicks out to Perry, back to Huff. Huff, acrobatic shot, no good. Rebound to Anthony Edwards. Edwards on the push, brings it up left side, over to Williams. Williams drives the lane, and... They don't call the right. They don't call traveling, and he did. He did. The ball got tipped when it was in his hands. Well, Tanner Epps is getting some quality minutes. Yeah, like I said, T Tanner's young, but he's a really aggressive defender and good athlete. Stewart to Kellett. Kellett behind his back. Inside to Perry. Out the streetman three, no good. Remember Williams. All right, Jack, Ray let's play Williams. smart here. You don't need to force it. The clock is your friend, and just like that, we have a turnover. Edwards throws it away to Kellett. Kill it in the lane, got it. That's a good move. Yeah, and a good no call either way. 56-38, Hannah. The clock's our friend here. We right. don't need to rush things. Armstrong. To Epps. Epps drives, pulls up, floater, short, gets his own rebound. Armstrong got it. Puts it up yeah. in. <laughs> I'm out, Hannah. Hey, that was a good take by Tanner. Uh, then fall for his own rebound, and it bounced off to Armstrong, who was able to put it back in. That's a big bucket here to keep it at 20. I think Arrington's going to tell him what we've been saying. Yes. Clock's our friend. We don't need to make risky passes. Just take care of the ball. Play good, solid defense down at this end. Yeah, it doesn't mean don't. If, if shots are open, take them. If you can drive, do. But you don't have to force anything. 
As we mentioned earlier, there's no shot clock there's in no high school clock. basketball. That's right. <laughs> Dean Smith would love this. <laughs> He'd be in the four corners right now. <laughs> Six minutes and 50 seconds away for maybe a region title. Hope I didn't put a jinx on him just then. Do you think he's going to stay with his same lineup? I don't know. I think he'll probably come out of the timeout with that lineup and uh, see some substitutions going down. He um, He's really big on offense-defense substitutions, and I think you'll see some of that as we wind down. I think so. Epps is still in the ball game. He's done a decent job on Huff. He has. And I think he's getting into Huff's head a little bit, too. Hannah's picking up in kind of a soft man-to-man -man press. Inbounds pass goes to Stewart being guarded by Dre Williams. Stewart left-handed dribble between his legs. Midcourt stops. Lob, Perry, inbound throws it. And it's taken away by Armstrong, but Perry ties him up. Jump ball. Hannah's possession. Matt Tolley enters the lineup for Tanner Reps. Tanner Reps gave a good Yeah, really minutes. proud of Tanner coming in and getting those minutes and making them count. Patterson into Edwards. 6.30 to go in the game. Hannah by 20. Edwards being guarded by Kellett. Edwards drives. Got the ball stripped. Streetman. Armstrong's match. Stolen away by Williams. And then I'll call that ball out yeah, of bounds. I, I, I think it was a good call. He, he stepped on the end line. But what great hustle by Zay. He did step on the end line. All right, Epps is returning to the lineup for Tolly. Yeah, here we go with a little offense defense. Epps guarding Huff. Back screen. Huff drives baseline. Stop. Step back jumper. Got it. Three pointer. Yeah, that's a good looking shot. That may be their first three pointer of the game. Dre Williams brings it up, being pressured by Stewart in the backcourt. Williams fakes the dribble handoff, takes it all the way in, has a shot blocked from behind, and we have a <laughs> foul called it's on. Foul on Kellett. Kellett. Uh, Armstrong will go to the line. Good drive by Zay there. Couldn't finish because of the block. But again, just not sure we need that quick of a shot. Yeah, we took, what, five seconds off the clock? Kelvin Johnson returns to the game for Woodmont, replacing Bentley. And Adarius Armstrong will be at the free throw line shooting two. Dan, let's talk about the crowd tonight, though. I think it's had an effect on Woodmont. I because, think so, too. You know, it's um, it's tough to play in a rowdy gym. And, uh, you know, the Hannah side is packed out. The student section goes all the way up. Armstrong's first one is good. Tell you what, too, it's, it's raised the temperature in here by about 30 <laughs> degrees, too. I don't need to work out tomorrow because I lost weight just from sweating in this back corner over here. I guess I can end my uh, subscription with the Y because I'm getting a sauna right now. Armstrong's second one is good. 60, should be 61-41, I think. Or 60-41. Stewart, dribble handoff to Huff. Huff being guarded by Williams. Drives into the lane. Puts it up. Rebound by Kellett. Out of bounds. Hannah's ball. I guess that's right, 60-41. And Tolly returns to the lineup for Hannah for Epps. A little offense, defense. Or in this case, defense, offense. Patterson to Edwards. Edwards being double teamed, has the ball stripped. Buff pump fakes to Taylor. Taylor misses the lamp, but he's fouled. Yeah, that's what we're talking about now. The, the, the trap and the press calls that. But you got 10 seconds, so that's a long time. Back it out. You don't have to run. And we can't allow Woodmont to score with the uh, with clock, clock stop. stop. Exactly. Kelvin Taylor. First one, no good. JV Martin returns the lineup for Williams. Johanna has what? Martin, Edwards, Patterson, Armstrong, and Tolly. Yeah, Martin's a junior point guard, and he's just, he's smooth. He's, he's got a great game. I enjoy watching him play. Patterson to Armstrong. Back to Patterson. Patterson splits the defense. 
Kicks it out to Edwards. Edwards puts it on the floor. Floater, no good. Rebound, rebound. Kell it. Kell it for Woodmont to Huff. Huff takes Armstrong, stop, step back, baseline. No, rebound, Streetman, good. Martin to Tolly. Tolly has it knocked away. Patterson picks it up. Patterson in the lane, forces it up, and they're going to call. They're going to call a foul on Woodmont. Woodmont. Yeah, but again, wh why, why, Dan? Why? It's a 16 point lead. <laughs> if you got an open three, knock it down. If you got a drive to the basket, the layup good. But we just don't need to four shots because honestly, that call could have gone either right. way. That's why I had to wait. I didn't know what they were going to call. Jaquarius Patterson at the free throw line for two. First one, good. <laughs> Smooth stroke there. Every point's going to be important here. And just don't let them have easy buckets and don't let them get to the free throw line. Right. Make them take some time off the clock, too. Patterson's second one. It's good. Hannah's leads back to 18. Inbounds pass goes to Drake Stewart. Stewart for Woodmont. Being pressured by Martin in the backcourt. Rui almost carried it. Taylor against Patterson. Yeldon Taylor spins. What do they got? They call timeout. Yeah, they gave him they time gave out. a timeout. That should have been a five-second call. Because <laughs> I'm not sure he had possession when they called the timeout. Nonetheless, it's one not timeout, a 30-second with 4.48 remaining and a 62-44 Yellow Jacket lead. I really can't complain about the officiating. There's no way in the world I'd do it. No, and honestly, they called a pretty good game. I just, you know, it's like a lot in high school. You get some inconsistencies. Woodmont's ball. They have done a good job of keeping um, everybody under control. I um, mean, both teams have received an on floor yeah. tech, which were probably a little quick whistles, but I know why they did it. Oh, I do too. Just sometimes I don't like it. Stewart on Martin kicks it back out to Huff. Huff being guarded by Tolly. Drives into the lane. The street, Streetman, no good. Rebound, Tolly. Tolly's being mugged, but he got out of it. Patterson. Patterson brings it up. Splits the double team. Gets in the lane, gets tripped. And I think the foul's on Stewart. Yeah, it same is. same kind of play that happened on our end. It's, a, it's an unfortunate yeah. foul, but it's a foul nonetheless. But again, not much time's going off the clock. Yeah. Good defensive rebound there by Tolly. Hollis returns to the game for Martin. And that's what it's going to take. You know, we just got a rebound when the opportunities are there. Quarius Patterson, one and one. Flies it, short. Rebound oh. Armstrong, right back up again, no good. Rebound again up, no good. Rebound by Kellett. Wes Kellett brings it up for Woodmont. Bounce pass to Stewart, layup, no good. Rebound, comes off to Armstrong, what we got? Oh, we got an injury. Oh, got an injury. Patterson, I think, hit his funny bone. And Jake Lamey is into the ball game for Hannah. Replacing yeah, Patterson. Jake's played some really good minutes this year, and uh, he's a smooth player. Woodmont's in the diamond and one press. Armstrong long pass to Tolly. Tolly's double teamed at midcourt. Over to Armstrong, double teamed over to Martin. Martin backs it out. That was a smart move. Giving Martin over to Armstrong. Armstrong to Edwards. Yeah, use clock here. 11 Armstrong in the lane. Layup. Good. Hannah's leads back to 20. Hannah picks up third court. Martin has Huff. Huff, left-handed dribble into the lane. Kicks it out. Taylor for three. Long rebound, Martin. Martin brings it up for Hannah. Crosses the 10-second line. Pass to Tolly. Tolly to Armstrong. Armstrong turnaround jump shot off the rim. No good. And rebound to Wes Kellett. Kellett for Woodmont. Driving on Edwards. Stops. Yeah, he kind of he kind of that yeah, one. Yeah, he did. It was um, Anthony was up in him, but yeah, that was that head fake. That's kind of a sell it and get there. I get that. Now Anthony Edwards. Looks like Hollis and Patterson are going to return to the Hannah lineup. 
Lamey and Martin take a seat. West Kellett shooting a one and one. First one in the air, good. Yeah, he's, he's got a sweet stroke. Doesn't even hit the rim. Nope. He's doing that with a bandage in his nose. I know. Three thirty-five to go. Second shot for Kelly. It's in the air. Got it. Perry returns to the Woodmont lineup. Martin returns for Tolly. Streetman takes a seat for Woodmont and back into the diamond and one press goes Woodmont. Patterson inbounds pass to Armstrong to Anthony Edwards. Yeah, back that out, Ant. Anthony Edwards, top of the key, getting pressured by Taylor. Over to Patterson. Patterson to Edwards. Edwards for Hannah. Deep, drives, kicks it out. Martin for three, no good. Rebound, Hollis. Yeah, reset that, good, good, good. Hollis penetrates, spin drive, spin move. Back in the corner to Armstrong for three. Got it! Darius no, 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 yes! Hannah yeah. by 21. Three minutes to go. Stewart drives the lane, kicked away, picked up. Hollis on the breakaway. The way in. No good. Rebound Armstrong. He got it. Hannah by 23. They can taste it. 2.40 to go in the game. Stewart to Huff. Huff stutter. Perry for three. Rebound, no. Not the head by Martin. Martin takes it in. Layup good. Yeah, now 71 46 with 2.22 to go. And as you said, the Yellow Jackets can feel it. Looks, <laughs> looks really good. Stewart down the lane to Perry. Perry, oh, spins, lays it in. 71 48, two minutes and nine seconds left in the game. Martin is mugged in the backcourt. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Two minutes and four seconds to go. And JV and Martin will go to the free throw line for a one and one. Now Hannah has another game Friday night against Bowling Springs, and I think we're going to be on the air for that one too. So yeah, and that will be senior night, and you know, these seniors are giving a whole lot to this they team. Have. So I want to ask everybody to come out and support them. Because again, you never know a win or a loss there what it can do for um, you know seating in the playoffs. Right. Davian Martin one and one. Deep breath, free throws up, no good. Rebound Taylor. Taylor for Woodmont. Over to Huff. Dre Huff being guarded by. That's a healthy. Alsey's in the ball game. Huff's layup, no good. Knocked around, Taylor's got it. Corner, Kellett. Kellett's three on the way, no good. Rebound to Patterson, and he's fouled. Good block out there. I think Wes Kellett's a little bit bothered by the bandage around his face. Yep. Aquarius Patterson going to the free throw line, shooting a one and one. 1.46 to go. Hannah sitting on a 23 point lead. Patterson's first one is good. Looks like it's empty the bench time. Tanner Epps goes into the game for Martin. Jake Laney goes into the game for Darius Armstrong. Yeah, what a what a big win this is going to be for the program and Coach Arrington and Coach Sheridan and all the kids. It's uh, they put in a lot of work. Rebound, Kellett. Kellett brings it up for Woodmont across the 10 second line, being guarded by Hollis. Kellett drives down the lane, kicks it out to Huff in the corner for three. No good. Rebound, Patterson. Patterson gets it out of traffic, brings it up. Kicks it ahead to Tanner Epps. Tanner Epps for three, no good. Rebound quickly to Huff. Huff brings it up, drives around Hollis, laying good. 
72-50, a minute 15 to go in the game. Andrew Hollis, Alcy to Epps. Epps for three again. Long. Rebound Kelly. We're going to call, have a foul called on Lamey. Yes, one thing we don't need to do is keep fouling. <laughs> Again, I know it's a 22-point lead with only a minute left, but you got to. This is how you learn. You it learn is. to play with a lead. Looks like Josh Donald's getting ready to come in the ball game for Hannah. A minute five to go. 22-point lead. I'm not sure what they're doing here. I don't either. Or is he calling a 30-second that the refs aren't giving him? I guess it's an unofficial timeout. <laughs> timeout would, Mom. Yeah, now it's a timeout. After all that. We got a minute five to go. And Hannah with a 22-point lead. And, yeah, Dan, this is a, a good win, not only because you bring home the region title, um, but in front of your home crowd, but also it shows the depth that this team and they've had a lot of injuries um, this year. Right, kids missing have. a lot of games. They're finally back healthy. And, um, I mean, when I'm not, I'm not talking about one or two kids. I mean, we've had four or five out at stretches. Right. And, there were a couple uh, games there. We what, we did have two or three kids out of the game. Correct. Yeah. And so now all of a sudden you're starting to build that depth back uh, for a playoff run. Good. All right, Keller will be at the line, and again, 105 remaining. Yellow Jackets lead 72-50. West Kelly. Killett has 15 points. Two shots. First one, good. If he hits the rim, I think we need to count it as a miss. Because <laughs> I don't think he's grazed the rim on a free throw tonight. Josh Donald comes in for Patterson to a good round of applause from the Hannah fans. Killett's second free throw in the air. He got it. 72-52, Lamey on the inbounds pass to Hollis. He's trapped in the corner, and Hollis calls time out. timeout. I will take this timeout with him, Dan, and we'll come back with 59.7 seconds to go, and the Jackets up by 20. Now, this is a tough place to inbounds the ball. Deep corner. Yes, it is. Lamey looking, firing, throws it to Color. Color drives, kicks it out. Josh Donald to Lamey. Lamey being double teamed in the backcourt. Gives it up to Tanner Epps. No, to Hollis. Hollis drives down the lane all the way, kicks it back out. A little keep away going on by Hannah. Epps to Lamey, and he throws it away. Kelly to Huff. Up being guarded by, and he throws it away. Yeah, that was good defense. They're trying to get open for threes, and Hannah just playing that perimeter defense won't allow them to do it. How was that? Well, they're still pressing, but I imagine if they get the ball inbounds, they'll kind of call off the dogs. And... No, Hollis knocked out of bounds. Still Hannah's ball. 28.8 seconds left. Jake Lamey will make the inbounds pass. Kind of looks like Woodmont's called it off a little bit. Hollis reverses the dribble to Josh Donald, to Alcee Culler. Culler drives, dribbles it out of bounds. 
He was bumped out of bounds, but they're not going to give you that no. call this late in the game. 72-52, Hannah. Stewart being guarded by Epps. Stewart to Huff. Huff drives a lane, throws it up, and the foul on Lamey. Yeah, just let him make the circus shot. That's right. Six point eight seconds to go in the game. Hannah by twenty. Hannah calls timeout, and I'm not really sure, but my guess is Coach Aaron wants to talk to his kids and say, "Don't do anything stupid this late in the game. Don't run your mouth. Don't do anything that will get you out going into the playoffs." And also, too, he may be doing this to irritate Woodmont's coach, too. I was trying to be nice, Dan. <laughs> Give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> little gamesmanship going on. You know, for the first time, and we didn't get a chance to play Westside this year, this is the first time I've seen the visiting cheerleaders come to us. Yeah, event. true. Yeah, it's a shame that some of the off-the-court stuff and people that really aren't associated with either program right. calls that rivalry game to be canceled. Dre Huff at the free throw line shooting two. 6.8 seconds to go. It's purely academic right now. First one is good. 72-53, Hannah. Up second is also good. Josh Donald the inbounds pass, gets it into Hollis. Hollis up court to Tanner Epps. Epps is going to uncork a three at the buzzer and hits it. Tanner Epps for three at the buzzer. Uh, the referee called it no good, and that was a really bad call. <laughs> That's fine. So I guess T.O. Hannah wins. Final score, Hannah 75, Woodmont 54. All right, any final words, Fred? Yeah, Dan, I've had a lot of fun doing this. Thanks for uh, letting me do this with you. And I'm just really proud of uh, Coach Arrington and, and the kids, <laughs> Coach Sheridan for all they've done. Um, and that's a big win. And as you kind of alluded to, this one, this one sat in the crawl. Losing that game at Woodmont, um, it was a hostile environment. Their fans um, weren't the nicest people to be around after that win. Um, so I think this was a little personal. And uh, as you can see, Jackets came out tonight as the students rushed the floor to celebrate with their team. Um, I think this was a really, really good win and one that they wanted. Oh, yes. Great win. Let's see if we can take the momentum to Friday. And then from there into the playoffs, we've got... One home game for sure in the playoffs. And I think there was a little bit of jawing with each other as they left the court. I think so, but but what a win for, for the Jackets and, um, you know, everybody involved. So everybody come out Friday night, support the seniors on senior night, and uh, hope the Jackets get some momentum going to the playoffs. And, again, thank you all for joining this broadcast. And we'll be again live on Friday night. And, uh, Again, thank you for all the all the support that everyone gives this program. And uh, for Dan Sheridan, I'm Fred Tolley, and go Jackets.